use its turn to get things started. Okay, just get my headphones in. Simply, so we got dailies, we got a couple of bounties and requests for the week, also TCG matches, but TCG stuff will probably be on Sunday. Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Hajime Mashi Tenshi. I am chilling. Ah, just want to see how much longer the... We got a new one up. Well, there is going to be a new Imaginarium Theater one up starting today. And also, just exploring the little bit left of Simulanka. Clearing out the rest of the exploration that I haven't already gotten. Okay, and opening characters and... Ayaka, Zhao, Diana... Purina Farzan. Well, I don't have Ayaka. Huh. So that'll be its own whole thing, but let's check. It's something in the mail. Let me see. Okay, and... Oh, okay, just the rewards from the Emily web event. Okay. Oh, I... <laughs> Closed out the wrong thing. I may be stupid. Yeah, that, that, and... Okay, and that's just announcement of the story quest, which I'm going to leave for next patch, probably. And... So we got... Almost... Ooh... Almost 208 rolls in Prima Gems alone. 213, 264 if I converted all of those, so... Not on... Not on funds are looking pretty good. For any of that... We should probably pick up the fates for this month. That would be nice. And go ahead and do those blue rolls immediately. Pick these up. Since it, you can exchange it infinitely, but after the first 30 per month, it gets at a higher cost. So I always like to buy that amount. Okay, cool. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to... Use those blue fates. In a second. So right now we're at 15 pity on normal, so this will take me to 21. Okay. See so if we get anything of no, probably not. Yeah, nothing. And then. Gonna get. Oh, purple? This. Oh, well, okay. That's one more. One more white bait, I suppose. Okay. If only it could have been a consolation for a character, actually. Heated cons on. Any kid of that con would be nice. So let's just see zero. I assume with Sayu. That said, one is plainly much more useful than the other. Alright, cool. So in that case, let's keep on moving. And first order of business is going to be this daily stuff. Also, check out some stuff over here. Got a couple of these guys, and those were the toy soldiers from Simulanka who have turned into clocks and chess. We got a little interaction point there, too. So to Ina zoom then and full speed ahead. For a second, I thought it would have been Thunder and Wilds. 
That's some of this. Where are we going now? Right, just around here. Now, full speed ahead. It'll be over this way. Sick of take. The trash artifacts here. Just like that. And. Cool. Thanks, and that did not make much of a difference. And oh, we got stuck. That's funky. Hmm. Okay, and now we can just keep on going. I don't need to actually take on any of the enemies to interact with the point of light. Oh, that was actually a bit more generous. You just have to contact the four nearby. I can't believe in the many times I've done this, I never noticed that to be fair, I always went down into the pillar instead of just contacting the nearby ground. Okay, cool. Let's go down and get that cursor. Hmm. Thank you. Question would be then, this heated battle mode will last for, oh, a while. Okay. <laughs> so, in that case, oh yeah, I'll just do that and all the other TCG stuff this patch on Sunday. That's simple enough. Mm -hmm. Let's be on our merry way. Manage like this. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And there we can see little points with the item pickups. Okay. Have some of this. Save the area after taking the supplies. And just gotta run through. Oh, well, I missed that. It's annoying. And just through here. Thank you. Thank you. Don't need those berries. Over here we do have. Oh, more Reptown Commission. Hmm. I think this right now could be good for mining daily objective. Could help. Everything for battle pass. Thank you. Alright. Hmm. Alright, refresh. Some of that then. Oh, alright. Cool, and. Screw on you. Thanks. Alright, and where are the rest? It. The way that they spread themselves out is very, very annoying. For this. Very unsuited. Alright. Hmm. Let's continue. Surprised that didn't even hit me. Oh, okay. Cool. Seems that taking the geo damage might have stunned it a little. I'm not too familiar with the mechanics and how that rage works specifically. Hmm. There's seagrass seed and right off that boat over there after doing that one daily. This is the final one and oh, it's right. It's looking for the cap. Hmm. So, just fretting, and the cat has gone off. Sitter done, okay. Hmm. Should be up in the tree then. Ah, it's right there. Okay. Right, that is one of the standard locations. Alright. Hello. 
Oh no, it was on top. Over here, right? Okay, cool. Then you can pick that up without breaking. Flight, that's fun. Hmm. Some of this. Alright. Sure did, and there we go. Up again, but mm, not my problem anymore. Okay. Okay. Mm, so in that case, collect that. Get you thirty-two. Mm, after that, collect. I suppose next option is going to be just going to Simulanka. Order to pick up the remaining treasure chest. Alright. Thank you. And now we do have a pretty nice amount of rolls. Could afford to lose a 50 50 and still guarantee. Well, in theory, that's, that's hard pity three times almost. Which. Hopefully should not need to go that far. Gotten lucky in a number of ways, but I cannot expect to always be winning. Hmm. Let's go back here, and yeah, inside the city should be what's left. Oh, hello! How's your mouth, Senshi? How are things going with the convention? No comment. I hope you're doing well. But as I was saying, I'm just gonna go around here. Right, I did get rid of. No, this is the. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's still exciting. And you said you're going to panels about food and meeting a K pop guy? Oh. I didn't know you had eye problems. Well, I'm glad they're getting fixed. Okay. How's this puzzle? We're really cute. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, a duo, okay. So how are they gonna fall off? Just gonna wait to see how this breaks. They trip over, they go around. Mmm, and they break line. Okay. What I need to do then is Yep, just connect over here. Thank you. Pull this back. Oh, okay. But, okay. So how did that happen? That's scary. So now, this should go in normally without any problems. Simple puzzle, but it's cute. Give her patronage, and now they're just stuck here. <laughs> Alright. How many? Oh. I, when I've had issues like that, it's generally been due to allergies. Okay, take care of yourself. Resident, why is an attempt to able to find treasure? Something straightforward. Pile of stones under the tree in my backyard. Down to earth as it gets. Pile of stones. Is this guy's backyard? Let me see. Can I? That weave pile? Okay, there we go. Find the first treasure. Head over to the bell tower in the southwest of the city. Treasure is waiting for you there. I've actually found the final chest. Bell tower. Where is that bell tower? Didn't even know there was a bell tower. Wait, southwest of the city, and it's not over there. It has to be. Southwest of the city. Well, getting high up would probably help me find it. Oh, it's there. Okay. Comes the giant. Uh, okay. I'm going to stay away from that from the moment. Great view from the bell tower, don't you think? Top and follow the sound of the bell. You do to my treasure. Well, then. Well, I suppose I could actually just use Kirara. Oh, well. I can't believe that latch got in my way. Well, I kinda can. And 
There we go. He uses this to go up most of the rest of the way. Green bell. Pattern and reach the destination. Hmm. So, oh, I did not mean to do that. That was rather embarrassing. Oh, but you can come to go to the top using magic thread. Well, that was... That would have been much easier if I'd just done that. I assume the pattern is just collecting these elemental particles. Wait. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, okay, and this goes down a bit farther. It's the treasure. One, two, three, four. Oh, for a second I have to jump in. Oh, there's a circle to stand on. And not that chest, presumably. And that. One. Two. Got an arrow pointing the way as well. And there we go. Challenge complete. Fun. Impressive. Got the hint. Pendulum lane in the northeast of the city. This piece of the treasure isn't going to be easy. Hmm. Pendulum lane in the northeast of the city. Would that be... Here, presumably, inside the castle. They don't have anything to say, though. Okay. Over here, then. Or watch your head. I... Okay, I do need to go up a bit farther, so this would be a decent way to get there. I think. Hmm. Competition. Hmm. Where is my sign? Just want to get this sign treasure hunt done as quickly as possible. Well, just right off step. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be looking just for that right now. Seems like it might be a little more complicated than I would like. Oh, but... Ah, in this boat... Go to the broken sea. Wait. It's not some mini Duran boat. Oh, okay. Cool. Constellation Metropole. Center post is what we need to be around. Mm hmm. A bit of rock, but if this is Pendulum Lane. Oh, there's that sign. Okay. Hello. Resident Circular City without even realizing. Hope you're not feeling too tired. Sending of graffiti patterns. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Hmm. Bama Frog. Squirrel Llama. Frog Squirrel Llama. Frog. And a squirrel. That's simple. Yeah. Okay. Well done, found the pattern. Station behind the city. Go somewhere further away, too. Right, and just... It was actually the... First one I found. The one with the sign over here. Pickaxe titanium, too heavy. Seats at the station, and that's where I found that. Down there, and I got some of that done. Okay. Final treasure. End of the world, somewhere deeper down by the sea. Somehow I don't. That's how that ended up working out. Well. Gotta actually take a quick bathroom break, so I'll be right back. Oh, that's not fun. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back and I'm alive. Yeah, usually, and this will sound stupid, because it is stupid, but usually I like to wake up about two hours before I start streaming, because then I can have my protein shake and it can kind of, well, you know, get me started, for lack of a better term. But I woke up later than I usually like to this time, and as a result, it's a little off schedule. Yeah, but I'm, oh, and I can't take the orange away from that. I can take these. That was actually very cruel of me. So in that case, let's go over. Oh, hello there. Got to play hide and seek. Count me in. Come play hide and seek. This is cute. People to guard, they've hidden themselves. Find the hidden figurine. They should all be in this little area. So I'm wondering where I should look specifically. Some of them might be in here. Are you weaving? I am not weaving. Just gotta see where you are. Around here? Well, we found one. That's nice. Hello. No return. Can't see me. I see you. So you have to interact with them a little bit. Via dialogue. Oh, here you are. Your turn. Figurines found, and... Huh. Presumably one might be up top somewhere. Oh, even if you go up high. Oh, and one's just in the bushes. That was simple. The victors do. Who's Victor? Okay, <clears throat> So there should be another. Yep, we can get a couple. <clears throat> Pages from there. This is just a carrot. So I think the like, city's actually a little complicated geographically. Well, not complicated as much as decently vertical. So I want to see. Is there going to be anything down around here on the grass level? I see a little bit of water, but it does not appear as if that is anything particularly significant. <clears throat> we'll see how it works. Go back, and... Yeah, it's not anything. I do wonder if we'll ever get more underwater exploration, given that Fontaine is pretty much over. Oh, welcome back, how are you? The fact that we still don't have Mount Aces. Presume we'll get a little more water over here. You can even see a bit of shoreline when you look, but it's just... You know, under the presumption that everything else will be... You got stuck. Did it all get tangled up? Are you... Did you find yourself in some sort of amusing predicament? Oh, well. H how do you want me to help? Am I just supposed to point and laugh at you? I don't think that would be very nice. So... Let's keep on moving. You can see that key turning. Oh, okay, so... It was just really, really bad luck as usual. Understandable. Well, you, you do say that that's an Italian trait, so for me to criticize would be highly discriminatory. I... I, I get clowned on, that's what happens. I, ju I just stand here and take it. That's the source of the humor. You know, I, I try to be serious and they say something so utterly beyond me that all I can do is shake my head. It... I feel like some sort of boomer dad. Maybe... maybe that's not so far off from the truth. Okay. Switch over and... Yeah, I... I was just confused. Yeah. Feels as if... There, there, there's a comedy duo element to this whole thing, you know? Where it's... Uh, eventually I feel like... We're gonna have to do stand-up or something. I don't know. But... It's just... The, the one time I ever really got bullied on stream directly... Okay. Happy, happy sister day, then. But, as I was saying... Oh, can't reach... Oh, we have to give the hamster an orange. Well, that's cute. And is it going in the hole, or...? Goodbye, hamster. 
Guess we'll never see you again. But, as I was saying... The one time I ever really got bullied on stream was... And this was before I ever started recording anything, so it's no longer really visible, but... One of the very first things I did was try to play Roblox with my sister. And it was one of those platformer games. And she was just doing better than me. And... Got... Okay. And she... Okay, Hydro Particles and defeat the Animo Slime. So hopefully I should be able to use Navi to shoot. But she was just calling me bad the entire time. And that was... Probably... The last time I remember where I was quote-unquote bullied by someone I was streaming with directly. Oh, interesting. Can't hit that quite, but if I... This is... Huh? Well, if I... Yeah, there we... that was simple. It... More common than you might think. I got a, I got a feeling you might be making reference to your relationship with your older sister right now. Only if you let it bother you. I don't let most things bother me. Let's put this last one through, and... Oh, interesting. This, this goes up rather high. But I don't presume, now that I've done that challenge, there's going to be an easy way to come back. Yeah, it's just that platform there. So if I, if I jumped off without actually collecting the chest... I suppose I would have to climb all the way up there, which is... It... I'd like to say that it's a matter of personal resilience. But, to be totally honest, it's more about being too tired to care. It takes mental energy expenditure to get angry about things, and I don't always have that energy. It's a lot less intensive to just shake your head. Yeah, I... It would be nice to get a healthy sleep schedule, but that would also take effort. It's sort of... I'm in an unpleasant equilibrium, which is going to sustain itself without external pressure of significant force. So we'll see if that pressure ever manifests and how. And statue is about to top the castle again, and that would be... Oh! Right, Barbois, so we can tell... God, it's a prophecy. Getting in an argument. Yeah, it... So do we say anything to them, or...? Goddess of Fate... So, wait, if it's Barbloth, then it would be Prophecy. What do you mean, looking at Kozu? What do you think is appropriate, and... Hmm... I... actually like this one. You can see both of the lampposts, and it... The guy isn't centered, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Okay, wonderful shot. I think that was a bit more artistic. So in addition to the chest, you do have little Mora capsules for these cute little interactions. I... Oh, 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 it was... Okay, okay. Well. Bir birds of a feather. But as I was saying, I'm very excited for Notlin's little dragon characters, there's some suggestion that the character abilities sort of mimic the way some of the dinosaurs work. Oh, it's... We're all in big trouble. Those will grow longer if you tell lies. No love of Mora, I didn't take anything. Well, both of these are lies. Uh-oh. Didn't grow. It's wrong. It's interesting because, without getting too much into leaks, it, the character abilities that mimic the dinosaurs can be used pretty much anywhere without, of course, having to have a point to summon one, but they're a little bit more limited. I think you, you told me about that already, about all the surfing children. And was it on a, deal, a D DVD with, or a CD with food? It's together in ambush. Let's just see. Oh. Honestly, the basic positioning is probably better. Hmm. There's nothing else that's interesting in the composition other than these guys. It. That, that, that just sounds like 
Sounds like some kind of Captain Planet ripoff. So they're trying to make movies like in Fontaine or something, or it. I'll try to figure out a nice way to say this. Actually, there isn't really a mean way to say it. I mean, there, there's nothing that I can say other than, yeah, I do listen. Okay, so let's see how this progresses. New potion, he's drinking the giant potion. Power is unsurpassed, and oh, a little ground tremor knocking the other guys down. It's... I, I get the feeling that nothing I say could be not mean enough. Okay, let's just see how this plays out normally without stopping him. Oh, so escape danger, need to hit the glue. Big thing is, I can only hit the glue while the guy's actually on there, so. Swing like this. Got a funny little hand here. Let's see how this progresses when we actually stop with the glue, but we need to wait till a figure hops on the switch in order to be able to hit this and put a glue clump down for the giant to step on. And how many more can we shoot? Well, it- oh, this makes it bigger. So I wonder if you need any more, but... So when he fell down, he also lost his transformation. So did going giant send him on a rampage? That- let's see, that actually slows us down when we step in it. That's fun. Do they have anything to say, or it does not appear as if they have anything particular to say? So over and up here, we've got a couple more toy figures. It really is. Hmm. Person supped with the wrong potion, okay. So it was a rampage, he was beyond his own control. <laughs> he went into berserker rage mode, I suppose. So in that case, what else is here? Hmm. But, every now and then I'll see stuff from the new Zelda game come up on social media, but they never give me any new information about it, is the thing. Is that it's always just little bits from the trailer that already got released a couple of months ago. The only new information that we got is just the ratings board rating saying, oh yeah, Link will also be playable, which is kind of a crazy revelation to have in a literal ratings board review document. Yeah, this is the artifact set that I'm building up for Emily. I have a number of artifacts that I've gotten. I've been running the Nymph's Dream slash Vorakasha domain in order to get just artifacts to throw at things to level up, and most of them are things that I would prefer to trash. So I'm actually, I gotta clear my inventory a little bit. I am it's filling up with artifacts a lot faster than I expected, which is kind of annoying. There are some suggestions, not saying too much, that starting next patch artifact experience is going to become significantly easier to obtain. So I'll put it in emblem because Sara needs a set too. The one thing that does get on my nerves a lot of the time is that it's there's not a good way to mark artifacts for destruction other than using the lock function, which makes it very, very annoying to do it on PC, unlocking them and putting them in the strong box. It's actually rather fast on a mobile device, but I'm not on there right now. What it does tell me is that I probably should have done this on my phone before this, but I... hindsight is 2020 all the time. But... Basically, in theory, this set is a little bit better than Heart of Depth for Ayato and Tartaglia. I- oh, hi Coffee. I'm doing great. I've- I've finished the whole event quest and the surrounding world quests, but I haven't done all the exploration yet, which is why I'm doing that right now. So, presumably, you finished it? What do you think about it? We want to discuss? Because I- the ending with Scar was very, very emotional. The, I like how well they called back to his previous development in the Sumeru arc on quest, especially, as well as some things mentioned in the Geo Artifact set, Husk of Opulent Dreams. But what I'm wondering is, and this is something I mentioned before, is that if he's going to have continued relevance, including with Mondstadt stuff, 
I wonder if they'll ever give him another character alt. Because uh, it is definitely notable that the game has not had a single alt character release yet. In part because, well... Since characters take a lot more effort to make and a lot more resources than, say, a Star Rail character, they have... Hmm, that's maybe okay. They don't want to waste, quote-unquote, waste character slots on just new versions of already extant characters. But I feel as if they have to be saving the idea of a... Sort of a, that's a really, really nice piece. That's also good. Sort of an original form or original outfit Scara for when they really need money or something. Especially since, as an alt character, that would actually be pretty self-explanatory. Because maybe if I looked more in his character descriptions, I might find something contradict it. But there's no suggestion that he ever lost his original Electro powers. It's just that when we play with him... He just uses the Animo Vision. So I feel as if the idea of him, especially since, you know, ever since Raiden and then onward with Nihita and Nuviat, because unlike Venti and Zhongli, they didn't even need fake visions to hide the fact that they're Archons, because it's just obvious. Or in the case of Nuviat, that he's a Sovereign, though to be fair, nobody even knows he has powers most of the time, so... It's a different kind of irrelevance, I suppose. But as I was saying, the fact that Scar wouldn't have an Electrovision wouldn't change the fact that they could just put down an Electrovision icon. I guess the question would be, if they gave us an Electro Scar, who would presumably still have a Catalyst weapon type, would they... Would he count as a Samira character or an Inazuma character? Or maybe even a Mondstadt character, because they did suggest that he would be involved with Durin's storyline from here on out, which also raises the question of the relevance of Mini Durin in connection with Big Durin. Because is it going to be a matter of... Because the big thing is that they said that the events inside the storybook can influence real life. So my question would be, is it going to be... Yeah, yeah, and I've seen people actually complain about that, that Hex and Zirkle stuff is just... They drop it in an event once per year and say basically nothing about it. That, it's got EM. I feel like I need it. That's not very good. That, mmm. That's also good. And that, that's also a very good piece. I, I can't afford to throw that away. But basically, the only character I really need a set for right now is Sorrow. Maybe Sorrow or Vado. Because Beto and Sara are currently sharing the same emblem set. And to be fair, I don't use uh, either all that much, but still. That. I can afford to toss a few EM pieces now. But this should be decent. I've got 69 spots to spare in my artifact inventory, so that should be good. But I've actually been rather unlucky with Nimstream pieces. To be fair, the only character I could switch Nimstream onto would be Chartagle, because I still don't have Ayato. And it is a little bit more awkward to use Nimstream than Heart of Death, because Nimstream you need to stack, you need to deal damage using different means. You need to deal normal, charge, skill, burst damage throughout of those four in order to maximize the buff. Whereas with Heart of Death, it's unconditional and literally just... Okay, tap E, use your skill, there you go, you have your buff. So it's a bit more complicated. That said, both Tartaglia and Ayato can activate it relatively easily, especially Tartaglia, who generally, the way you run Tartaglia would be, the typical rotation is you start with his burst, take his E skill down, and all Riptide damage is E skill damage, so that keeps it easy to maintain, and then whether you spam normals or... Spam charge attacks, especially since with the charge attack you need to do one normal first. You're going to be getting all of your stacks, you know, replenished relatively easily for the entire time you need that. And wait, what just happened? There's a chest somewhere, but... Okay, what's up top here? I might have wanted to use Kirara for that, but this is just here? Even the birds have been scared off, so how was I supposed to get up here? 
Okay, and there were no eggs in that nest, just some pages. Interesting choice. So then in that case, <laughs> this leads to any- oh, this leads to here, I think. So on that other, there's one of those broken posts. That does look a little fragmented. Let's go over this way. But I just remember that a while ago, long, long ago, when Scar was coming out, well, when Wander was about to come out, there were people talking about dubious kit leaks and the idea that before he was revealed as Animo, that he would have had a big electro laser, which generally people considered to be people mistaking how he fought in his boss fight through textual descriptions for how he would fight as a character. Let's hope it remains beautiful. Here's your king. But there is part of me that gets the feeling that if they ever put out a... As in the idea that the game is all a dream. I have not heard that, but... I think I've talked about this before, but it's very, very hard to pull off a... Something is all a dream theory without it feeling cheap. And I think... Especially since... I think it's very, very possible, especially since it is, you know, Chinese influence. And one one of the most iconic things about sort of Chinese folklore, culture, fiction is, or literature is the Zhuangzi butterfly dream. You know, I dreamed I was a butterfly flying through the fields. And when I woke up, I wondered, was I human dreaming about being a butterfly or a butterfly dreaming about being human? Especially since, as I'm sure, I'm sure this is relevant, the whole deal with Simulanka, you know, raising questions about the boundaries between fiction and reality within this game. Toy power, I'll be the ghost. Turn around, don't move a muscle. Oh, so it's another red light, green light. They had something like this in Remuria too, and it was pretty fun. Holy crap, Squid Game? Touch the ghost without being discovered. Oh, okay, well. And they fell down. Can I run at all? Or I think we're being... You have to walk slowly, so that makes it different from the red light, green light one. It's nice that they have a little thing up over there. Ah, interesting. That... I suppose the question would be... What would the difference between dream and reality be in that case? Because it definitely is a question of being in a bubble. That's almost indisputable, because of all the mentions of the firmament, quote-unquote, which is... You probably know what a firmament is already, but it was an archaic idea of... Basically... Something that separated the, quote-unquote, waters above from the waters below. And that rain was water from this big firmament covering the earth, dripping through holes in the firmament. Because, well... The ancients didn't really understand the idea of the water cycle, but... Or of evaporation and condensation, but... So what's in here? So you know it's you. This is... About as good as the picture composition is going to get. There's nothing else interesting to show other than these figures. Okay. But... I guess... The big question is... It's very clear that Tavat is cyclical somehow. But, the big question is whether it's literally reoccurrences of the same exact events, or similar events happening in different contexts. Especially since people talk about the idea that Tavat Samsara, quote-unquote, and the Gnosis and Kreutz Order lore and some of the documents we saw the whole... Hyperborean, Notlantian, Remorian, Kron Arya cycle. The fact that they all have different names and can be recorded independently of each other. There's some memory, unless that's not actually the Samsara and is a red herring of some sort or a separate phenomenon. The main thing is you look at the archive. Geography, geography, equipment. And if you look at the prayers pieces, these ones, all of them talk about the cycle of elements dominating the world, ice, fire, water, lightning, etc. And there was also an 
Animo one. That was dummied out because, well, Animo cannot actually be applied as an aura to anything not named Animo Hypostasis in the final game. It is very, very interesting that... And it's been around since 1.0, but never repeated in any sense since the fact that you can trigger Swirl from the opposite direction on the Animo Hypostasis to the point where I actually... I've leveled every single character who uses Animo Hypostasis not to 90, but back when I was still farming it, I would actually use Hu Tao with Viridescent to boost the damage of the swirls that I was constantly triggering on the Hypostasis, which is a really funny way to fight it, but it's interesting in light of that that you cannot trigger Crystallize in the other direction on Geo Hypostasis. It can also trigger... It can be affected, because back when I farmed it, I used Hu Tao Xing Chao. You can trigger vaporized reactions if you're very, very fast with your application, precise with your timing, because it'll sort of automatically cleanse its elemental application in favor of the Geo somehow. It's weird, but this whole deal with Chief Priest, Crown of Light Branches, Deep Places, Ruins, and Ultra Sacrifice, Answers and Enlightenment. This is basically what happens in that quest with the Frog and Squirrel in Simulanka. So I figured it might be a reference, but the big thing is that Especially in there, you see all these papers, the remains of the paper animals who went in and gave up, piled up. Which suggests that it's not sort of a time loop, but, you know, more just cyclical history. You know, first is tragedy, then as far as so on and so forth, but... Effectively, that it's not a matter of every, you know, the, the same people getting reborn time and time again in a Groundhog Day type thing, but more as in... Especially since, with the whole Fontaine stuff, where, you know, the Queen of Doomers, Egeria, tells Arrhenius that, oh yeah, Fontaine is doomed, the flood is coming, we can't do anything, I'm gonna start crying, give me a tissue. But, more just like that, that every kingdom is eventually doomed to fall, in part because of the action of Celestia. Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. It's not the same people being reborn and time looping back, but more certain forms of events, especially just the general outline of, oh, big kingdom rises, falls, usually some abyssal connection, which is also somewhat connected to the idea of Honkai, which literally means collapse in the Honkai series, which is confirmed to be part of the same. To that is explicitly part of the quote-unquote multiverse tree of Honkai. But, as I was saying... There, there's definitely a sense in which to that is cyclical, especially with these tiaras, which have been in the game since 1.02. But, I think the idea that... Some people have the idea that there's a time loop with sort of the travelers trading off spaces places and i think there might have to be some explanation for the difference between you know male traveler and female traveler well uh, actually i'm not even sure there has to be i think actually that's sort of a question an answer in search of a question or a question that doesn't necessarily need answering it's just the player option but and of course there's some dialogue changes for example in the 3.0 cycle Dainsley quest they talk a little bit differently about the flower, that into that flower, because if you play as Lamine, they say, oh, the flower I wear on my head. If you play as Aether, it says, oh, the flower on my sister's head. But that doesn't make a massive difference, really. It, I would say, especially since most of the trailers and such do treat Aether as the canon option. So I have to pull these guys off, presumably. Help me push. Pull, and pull. Okay, simple enough. And where are they going? Happily reunited. Sorry, my friends. No next time. Uh-oh. But the idea that of a time loop is a little bit... I wouldn't say preposterous, but it makes a number of assumptions. And it pays more attention to... And I think using the term samsara might even be wrong, so they only use that, at least in the English, which, to be fair, is only one of the versions of the game for 
the actual time loops in this second Sumeru Archon quest, which aren't even time loops in as much as purely repeating events. There's still progress in time, which is important because they have to collect the dream energy through Bola Tangerines and Clockwork behind me, I assure you. Fresh as it was when it was picked. Oh, he as in he swore upon the clockwork. For a second I thought we had to go up top, but... I guess that was just a silly little event, but... Hang on, and... Oh, we got... Do we have to help these guys? It's cute that they're helping each other out. But the fact that it's similar events, the same general scheme events instead of an actual time loop... I feel also kind of suggests that the cyclical nature of Tavat is not a time loop in the standard sense. Wait, so how do I open? Oh, presum we have to sit down with them. That's so cute. Yeah, it is. If only we could see in some of that folded book page terrain, too. But as I was... Okay, and we got our shelf over there. We already got every single figurine. So I do actually want to go and check the descriptions for some cute little character war, but effectively I have no suspicion that to that is a time loop. I think one of the reasons people like the idea of a time loop is because it explains sort of why descenders are needed, quote unquote, and that they're here to basically break the cycle, but that can be true without requiring an actual time loop. Because if events do generally repeat, and especially since you see that with the Narcissan Quartz quest line, that it's and the funny thing about it, and people remarked on this, is that Narcissan Kreutz slash Renee is actually right. The only reason he didn't end up having to literally eat everyone to preserve them inside his ocean and body was because the traveler came, which was literally unpredictable for him. But Let's try if your fun. <laughs> why did they reference Skyrim? This is literally. <laughs> why are they taking a picture of the opening of Skyrim? <laughs> You're finally awake. You're trying to cross the border, huh? Walked right into that ambush. <laughs> this is so stupid. It. Okay, but how could I mimic the introduction most adequately? Okay, if it's over here, photo target no longer in the frame. Okay, so it seems we need both of them. So I can't position it from the blue one to the blue one, which would be as close it is as it is to the actual Skyrim intro, but just... <laughs> that caught me off guard. I, I like this angle a little better, but... Mm, but it shows the camera. So what's a... That doesn't show his face. That overhead view is impersonal. But essentially, the Descender's importance can be about breaking cycles without history having to actually repeat. It's just a blank wall. There's no point in doing a two-thirds, but that's a slightly more interesting and dynamic angle. It, the fan theory about the Gnosis that I found most compelling, we've already done this, is that they're specifically the remains of, let me just check, and Traveler is the fourth Descender. Well, the big thing is that since being a Descender is more about having power to basically rival the entire world, quote-unquote, the big thing is that it does not necessarily necessarily mean that a descender has to actually originally be from beyond to that. They just have to have power to rival the world. Which the phrase ri the word rival at least to me, yeah, rival at least to me suggests that it's power directly opposed to the world. Which <laughs> the big theory people have is that the second descender was actually Nibelung. Now, the first Ascender was Fanes, the second was the second who came, which may be Asmodee, it was almost certainly at least one of the Shades. And that the third Ascender was Nibelung, who, if I recall correctly, well, I could actually check this. 
from the Archive, stated by Opep to have left Tabat and come back with the Power of the Abyss. And since the Power of the Abyss is external, a power that can rival the world both in the sense of be as powerful as it and actually be directly opposed to it, that would be very prime fodder for, oh, this makes you a descender. And it would make a lot of sense why the Gnosis would enable harmonizing with elements to an extent greater than a vision, and given that visions seem to be, because Gnosis is literally heart of God, vision is literally eye of God in both the Chinese and Japanese, that the reason that they can harmonize with the elements of the world is that Nibelung, who was the king of the sovereigns who represented the elements of the world, and what is interesting is that we don't know for sure whether Nibelung was, I don't know, maybe a rainbow dragon or an eighth element, or maybe one of the seven sovereigns, but also their king. Because what is very interesting is that in the content beta test, before the game ever came out, there were... The constellation system was, I think, based on sort of Stardust-type material. Which meant that in theory you could actually, and this actually would have been really cool, getting duplicates of characters of any given element could let you save up for other constellations. Or I think some of them were also other kinds of talent unlocks and upgrades, but... Essentially, that, at least in theory, and presumably five-star ones would have cost more, that you could essentially exchange the equivalent of Star Glitter for five-star constellations if you saved up enough. But you would have to at least have the character first. Maybe. That takes some filling in the blanks. But, like I was saying, there were ones for every kind of... Actually, let me look this up. CBT Primordial Archon. But there was an idea of a Primordial Archon with a sort of Omni element. And were these Primordial Archon? Constellation material. Yeah, yeah! Original constellations were basically a skill tree where constellations were purchased using Stardust and Star Gold, or obtained from rolling duplicates converted from previous material. And Oh, oh, no, but... So Star Glitter would be for the Traveler specifically, maybe. Yeah, yeah, because those were from the memories. The memories were items that could be converted to Star Glitter for the Traveler. So I'm wondering if... Yes. So presumably, maybe, it would be Stardust for four stars and Star Glitter from five stars, possibly? Because it's stuff like Burning Passion or... As Stardust, Challenge of Pyro Archon for Star Glitter, and both of those would be Stardust Pyro character or Star Glitter Pyro character, but you also have Primordial Myth, Stardust All, and Coronation of Primordial Archon, Star Glitter All. So there's a suggestion of a Primordial Archon with. And you also have, in TCG only, notably, so I gotta show that icon by looking at something real quick. You also have the white Omni element with Paimon's Triquetra on it, which is also a very hmm kind of thing. Because you see, you can't, okay, you can't see it. You can't see the full dice icon, but of course when you have it, you have the, the Triquetra, the sort of three leaf. Esk insignia. And of course it I don't think Paimon is going to be. I guess we can take these. Well, it that might have been a bit mean. I don't think Paimon is going to be Istaroth, in no small part because Istaroth, if she has any specific elemental affiliation, it would almost certainly have to be Animo. But when we inevitably get an 8th element, I don't think there's any doubt that Paimon will have some connection to it, because of that Triquetra. But it also raises the question that Mora has 
the Triquetra symbol on it too, but it's also, at least formerly, specifically created using the Geognosis, which raises some other interesting questions. I... I don't think we would ever get quote-unquote confirmation as standard sense, at least not for a while. And I think I've mentioned this before, but the idea of Zhongli being a sun god and therefore maybe some sort of shade. I guess the question would be, what shade would that be? Because if he was a sun god, that would presumably be connected to light, but that would be time, which is presumably connected to animo. The big... There was a theory I saw a while, some conjecture a while ago that said that effectively Geo and Animo were more sort of secretly space and time as elements. The big thing in connection to that would be, you know, the idea that... Because Istaroth was also the shade of time in addition to maybe possibly being an Archon. Or at least definitely have some kind of Venti connection. And if you look in artifacts, you've got logos, which people would... You know, it's sands of... Wait. Life, death, eon, eon of them, and... No, no, it's circuit of logos. So a lot of people theorize, and I do tend to agree, that especially considering the connection to Gnosticism and the fact that Fonis explicitly descended that explicitly from outside, much like Gnostic ideas of the Father and the Gnostic Christ, that Faunace is almost certainly Logos, which literally means word, which is a term used a lot in Gnosticism and, you know, Gnostic-influenced parts of Christianity that is mostly in the Gospel of John, where they're referred to as a Logos, or word, and... Though, to be fair, that's also partially a stoic concept. And you've got Eon, Eonathem, and that's time. And Eonathem is basically empty space or void. And, of course, you have life and death. So most people presume that life, death, time, and space are the four shades, which... And now I have to, now I have to go back to Fontaine. But you go ahead and you look in the Norsis and Kreutz Ordo, and you get descriptions of various titles in connection to quote unquote of worlds. Which, notably, and it would raise questions about how the translation worked out, but you look over here, and this is a quote from a Alistair Crowley poem, if I recall correctly, but protect the world, sustain, destroy, and create. And it reminds you of how, of course, when you see Asmodee, which is a title we only know from data mining at the start of the game, talking about being the sustainer of heavenly principles, it, recall, it raises the question of, okay, so is there a protector, destroyer, and creator of heavenly principles? And... That also means that the title Sustainer of Heavenly Principles is less a matter of person who sustains the heavenly principles and more person associated with a faction called Heavenly Principles, which is closer to our understanding of what the Celestia is and whose job is sustaining, presumably sustaining the world. Which, that said, generally speaking, if there is a shade of space or shade of what, oh, ouch, welcome back though. It's probably Asmodee, especially since she looks a bit like Hirschra Avoid Kiana from Honkai Third. But it raised the question of, okay, so would Protector be time? Maybe. I, I know that's what you said. I saw that. I chose not to acknowledge that fully. Well, no comment. So, and Destruction Creation, presumably Death and Life. But... It's interesting. Let's go back to Simulanka then. Teleport to the Metropole. But... Asmodee... Yeah, Asmodee is the unknown god slash the sustainer. 
Asmodee is, and to be fair, there's only so much you can glean from internal data mine names. But her model in the data has the name Asmodee. Clockwork to reset the scene. Well, you can see it again. But, like I was... Okay, so that falls down, so we have to... Do we have to use glue? Boxes are blocking the way, so what that means, apply the glue. But the big thing is that Asmodee is the name of one of the demons from the Ars Gatia. So, it lines up with the Archon's naming schemes, as well as, well, Paimon's. And, okay, so now the boxes are no longer blocking the weight of the glue. So how are things going to progress if he gets on the switch, but we don't actually shoot the glue? Oh! So it stops there, glue or no glue, so we can shoot that even with that. Oh, that's actually really cool. So now we have to rewind things, and the glue will keep it stuck. That's... That is really, really funky. So it's not just a matter of changing events along the way, but changing events and then rewinding time again. Oh, wow. So sturdy, so we couldn't knock it down. So I guess the giants really are clumsy and troublemaking, as one does. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's better to be tiny. But as I was saying... What is also interesting about a lot of basic stuff from the old content beta test pre-launch of 1.0 is that we've had a number of things remain consistent. One of the more interesting things is that the idea of Furina being Focalore is with an S instead of the actual Ars Gatia name, Focalore, is something that's been known, or at least suggested, from the very, very first content beta test where there are some unused lines from Venti where she ref he refers to her as Focalores. And her, her eventual personality ended up being nothing like what was suggested there, in that sort of Beta Fiorina was supposed to be incredibly unpleasant. To the point where Venti would have just said, oh crap, it's her runaway, basically. And which, for various reasons, that is not how she ended up being in the final product, for better or worse. But the name stayed consistent, so did Boor for Nahida. And... But what is interesting is that they only have the Geishic names. They only refer to them as, you know, Ball, Morax, Focalors, Boor, and what's interesting is that the Pyro in the Pyro Archon, it's I'm, A-Y-M, which in the Ars Geishia, well, the big thing is that Venti comments on the of I'm having bestowed us power, a great duke of hell set cities, castles, great places on fire, 26 legions of demons, makes men witty in all ways, and gives true answers concerning private matters, which, generally speaking, since in the Travail trailer they talk about the Pyro Archon giving us an answer, a lot of people think... That's, you know, a suggestion of it still being I'm. Which, in the end, they can do a lot with a character while still maintaining true, quote-unquote, to the very scant character outline that the Ars Geisha gives to its demons. But the most interesting thing about what the content beta test says about the Archons is actually about the Saritza, who actually is referred to the Saritza in her voice line, but for the dialogue in it, but what's interesting is that in the actual voice line itself, as in the file name for the voice line, she's referred to as Barnabas, which it's hard to say what the implications are all there, 
But the name Barnabas very specifically is the name given to the sort of replacement apostle for Judas. As they're sort of, well, you know, there there have to be 12 of us, so... And Judas is dead, and we he did a bad thing, too, so even if he was around, they can't do that. So they said, okay, this Barnabas guy seems great. So they had him be the new 12th apostle, which is interesting, and it's way too early to say what that might mean, but just the fact that the Saritza has the name of not a demon, but sort of arguably even more of an odd one out apostle than the one who replaced Judas. It's very, very interesting. I don't think Barnabas has any specific Gnostics significance. Of... Actually, actually... What is interesting, and yeah, I thought I remembered a bit of this, but there is a Gospel of Barnabas, which is pseudepigrapha, as in quote-unquote false writing, and was effectively a polemic written to sort of argue against... Huh? Did my connection break? I don't think. Put together be the ghost. Turn around, don't move a muscle. Sort of a work of apologetics. A, actually, an Islamic text written to sort of argue with the Christian Jesus story. Because they have a different Jesus story. And, you know, for the sake of religious education, it's inter- Oh, okay, interesting to discuss how it differs. Oh, a Gusha, that's fun. But the big thing is... In Islam, the story of Jesus adheres more closely to their kind of prophet story, which is interesting because and I took a, I took a class on this back in college, which is oh and okay so this one does an extra quick turnaround when you get close. It's like I thought to try to catch you. I was surprised when the other one didn't do that, but effectively the Islamic Jesus who. Arguably, you might be better known as Esau, which, if I recall correctly, actually, the linguistic origin is not actually connected to Yeshua, which is, you know, the Hebrew form of Joshua. And a lot of people do joke that, especially since Jesus literally shows up in Jojo Part 7, uh, that Jesus was the first, jo first Jojo. Because his name is literally, you know, Yeshua ben... Actually, what was Joseph Hebrew? But... Yeshua ben Yosef, or Joshua son of Joseph, as in Jojo. And of course, he literally shows up in part 7 to give Johnny Joestar power, because... You can never be too weird in JoJo, but as I was saying, it, it was peak, it was peak though. But as I was saying, the stories of prophecy in Islam generally adhere, well, as in, in the Quran, generally adhere to what's known as a punishment narrative, <laughs> where a bunch of people are committing rank evils, and as, a, as such, God sends a prophet to basically say, hey, don't do that. And inevitably, they don't really change, and then they all get swallowed by the earth, or die to an invisible plague, or something like that. And, it, you know, it's sort of a scared straight kind of fable. And what's very, very interesting is that, as such, the Islamic account of Jesus hews a lot more to that, even though you could argue it's kind of a Procrustean bed, in that... You know, the story of Jesus in Christianity is not really a punishment narrative. In fact, most people, at least most Christians, would argue it's kind of the opposite. But the big thing is that in the Islamic narrative of Jesus, and what's very, very interesting is that there was a pretty good, because we watched some of it in class, Life of Jesus movie released from, I believe it was an Iranian studio a few decades ago. I think in the 80s, I think in the 80s, but 
What was very, very interesting is that it was actually recorded with two endings that played in sequence that gave the Christian and Islamic accounts of the end of Jesus' life. I guess you're Pookie now. I did tell Kozu that they were basically becoming Italian. They didn't respond well to that. But essentially, in the Islamic account of Jesus, and this was the account given in the Gospel of Barnabas, that, welcome back, essentially, there, Jesus was never actually crucified, and instead, a treacherous individual, either one of the mob who had persecuted him, or in some accounts, Judas himself, were changed in appearance to look like Jesus, arrested instead, and crucified in his place. And that's the punishment of the punishment narrative. So, that, in terms of religious significance of the name Barnabas, those are the only things that really come up for me. Other than that, the other thing, the only thing that Barnabas really does in particular in the Bible and Acts of the Apostles, which is the only place he shows up, is go into proselytization, spreading the gospel with the apostle, with the disciple Paul, or arguably the apostle and it's and that's that's the interesting thing when you read texts which is the fact that if they say 12 apostles they mean you know the 12 apostles or whether they mean i mean maybe you could argue temporally it should be the 13 but who knows but then of course there's also the arguable 13th or 14th in the story of paul slash saul but if a text ever says just the apostle they're usually talking about paul it's Whose name also literally means shorty. Yeah, Paul or Paulus just literally means short guy. Supremely splendid, suspended stars sway, and the seas are still. Sounds of clockwork winding up in the morning. Night sent a vegetable oil on wood chips and waves. Literally. The world is so beautiful, so perfect, look at it right from the pages of a story. Well, literally. I will. Starry sky, think of the starry sky, feel that sense of serene bliss. So what would happen if we said we won't? Who knows? Okay, Star Scout will remember and I will remember too. The forest will remember. But it... The big thing is that... And now I'd like to talk about the game again. The fact that the Cryo Archon, based on her name, seems to be categorically different from the others in some way. At least implied by... The messages in... The content beta test. Price to be one, check it out. So this is a... I'm eyes, move legs, gotta eat. What is this competition? Work is a pair, so this co-op challenge. Hmm. Own style, challenges differ. Move legs, food, and choice. So do you have to go running, or... It's an interesting location. The competitors unlock all the rewards with a reckless figure. Charging onward. What do we do? Win this together. Hmm. Good luck, contestants. Oh, so do I have to block him off? Move those legs and start the challenge. Oh, well, presumably, I, if I do this, you won't get stuck in the glue. But actually, first. Oh, but it won't let me. Well. Happy wants to see the failure state, but should be fine. Main thing is, if he's not going to be walking in the glue, he'll go around and... Yeah, okay. Met oh, ouch. That sucks. It... You should convince someone to get you another box. Well, you could also get one yourself. But that costs more money for you. Okay, so he's done, and now he's sitting on that crate. Greedy figure, reckless, greedy, and troubled. Has that been has that been working out for you? I hope you're all right. Okay, so we actually can't be up close. I have to back up a little. Have something to eat. No work can be done on an empty stomach. Hero descend, supported by companions. Yeah, I. That's legitimate. Reach the destination. So. Do I have to push this guy, or... What do I do? Fruit handy. Mushroom... He won't do anything, then. Ah, uh, okay. 
Okay, so no special dog, just gets rid of it. Okay. It... I've wondered about... So it just breaks through, that's funny. So does he need anything else now? Or... Oh, out of energy, so he needs more. Powers up with food. What is this? A Mario mushroom? Some meat on hand, so foul. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it... Is it contaminated now? Would he have to get a new one? That sucks. Bad luck. Mm. And so he wanted fruit, he wanted meat, and then something sweet. So a sweet flower. Oh, okay, okay. That's a relief. Uh, if, if it was contaminated, though, to be fair, that would surprise me if it did. That would really, really suck. That's done, and that's gone, and fades away, and it's interesting how they fade it out. Oh, okay. Mm. Huh? The troubled figure. What do you want? Not exactly a decisive person. I can sympathize. Figuring the route out to you. Well, it... Five second rule. If it's not falling in mud, you should be okay. As long as your floor is clean. Should I choose? Start the challenge and... So presumably it's just a matter of picking a path which way and the answer is walk right. So you don't get stuck in a dead end. It... It won't kill you. So left, clearly. Oh, right or straight? Okay, so straight. Interestingly, they said what? Straight and right instead of left and right, but... Should be fine then. Yeah, do I go to the end or do I walk in the glue puddle for no reason? <laughs> It'd be funny if he had that funnel. Decision. Okay, we beat them all, which means... Here's a race chess. Uh, Why are you saying you, the glue? I guess that rhymes. So this over here should be... Hide and seek. So another hide and seek with the toy soldiers. Have hidden themselves. Find the hidden figurine. So we just got... Okay, we got one in here. Your turn. I have a couple of pots, but that does not seem to be anything of serious note. But it won't. Would you prefer it would kill you? Don't answer that question. I'm not sure I'll like the answer. Oh, and you're stuck in here. Okay. Your turn. But... And it's... I've heard people talk about this, and it's a controversial situation. But... I have a friend, and I think she was on antipsychotics. But... They were basically... I was talking about them about the idea, you know, maybe... Maybe I have something, and I was just sort of, but I'm worried that if I went in to talk about it, they would force me onto some antipsychotics and zombify me, maybe, and that would be, you know, unpleasant. Yeah. And they basically said, yeah, some and some, I went on some, and it basically zombified me. And it's, you know, the fact that that phrase zombie just comes up again and again and again between various people involved. And like I said, it's important to not fall into the trap of quote-unquote anti-psychiatry. Playing these roads, so many stairs. Mm -hmm. Can't do this anymore. Because, and there was an article that I read off of, I think it was on Slate Star Codex, about basically people questioning the utility of antidepressants and basically saying, you know, it doesn't work for everyone, but the side effects are certainly a lot less adverse than they were, you know, 30, 20, even 10 years ago with the new kinds of medications that keep getting invented. And for some people, it really is kind of a silver bullet. And it... It... And it's hard to say without being wishy-washy. But I think it... There can be arguments about over-prescription without saying... Medication bad. Yeah, it... Okay, so he's gonna hop there again, which will end that, so we need to step there. Go on, we got that, and then we have to back it back up. Thank you. Yeah, I... Don't worry, I think about the Pokemon too. 
But it wishy washy. I used it in my son and in my Pokemon Sun playthrough. Yeah, yeah. It's always a matter of individual comp individual compatibility too. But and I've heard that people have been getting better about it. But you know, and it's important to not be too too sort of defeatist about it. But... And because the big thing is that there are a lot of people that argue that a lot of psychiatry is basically political. In the sense that... Yes. Uh-oh. The entire point is, especially since a lot of the point is quote-unquote functionality, that it's Sometimes less about well-being, more about making into a quote-unquote good little worker drone, which, you know, make your own decision. But it, you know, effectively that the idea that sometimes depression isn't just a matter of brain chemistry, but a matter of life in the modern world actually just kind of sucking sometimes. Which... And... A lot of people who talk a lot about cognitive behavior, behavioral therapy do it as an anti-psychiatry thing. But it... Especially when... Sort of being down is a response to actual reality instead of just... A malfunctioning perception, so to speak. It... It is, as with many things, just... A bad situation with no immediately obvious and easy solution. And there are a lot of those. So where to next? I know I saw another chest up top over there, but... So just reach through that way. How then do I... Scroll and hamster clearly. Hmm. How do I do this? Well, first, I, if I jump up these, this should be a good way to get up top quickly. Then after this, after Metropole, it's really only the mines left. And I actually, it's very, very funny because it raises the question of, well, there, he's just sitting here. It, and far off in the distance from here, was beyond this world. So, the end area is actually far enough down below that waterfall that we can't even see the islands. And I can't even see the moon that's over there in the broken sea. It... The big thing is that it's important to remain compassionate. Because no matter what somebody's individual problem is, it doesn't change the fact that they still have a problem. And it... There's nothing other than the center. What, what do you mean by crisis? I'm not exactly worried here. It, these, are, these are the kinds of discussions that I enjoy having, even if I do need to be a little more careful. It, but... And I know, I think we talked about this before. You were talking about the literal schizo guy in your neighborhood who, you know, finally got his meds and became less erratic and unstable of a person. But, as I was saying... And, I know we talked about it before, but one, one of the things that does... irk me about the way that... I did not mean to do that. A lot of the way that a lot of people talk about mental illness is that when people do, for lack of a better term, Problematic things. A lot of people immediately say that this is absolutely no connection to mental illness, and you tar people with, you know, a broad brush if you say that mental illness had anything to do with it. But the entire point is that unless you have sympathy for people who do these bad things in conjunction with mental illness, you don't really support people with mental illness at all. That. The entire, a lot of the pain of mental illness is doing things that cause problems, not just for you, but for people around you, without it being entirely within your control. And it, 
<sighs> you know, the idea of having to be, quote-unquote, a perfect victim. You know, even if. And uh, it does raise a question, even if you're being credulous and not saying, maybe the idea, the reason that people talk about all this idea of, oh, if you have such and such illness, that makes you a perfect victim. The only problems are only ever for yourself, never for people around you, which also leads to a very unhealthy individualistic mindset because a problem for you is inherently a problem for the people around you or at least it should be if people are just ignoring your problems and saying none of my business that itself is a bigger problem but it you know even if you're if you don't ask don't want to ask the question you know maybe they're doing this because frankly they're exaggerating or even faking for clout it it leads to incomplete sympathy. Even if there are people who truly, truly only have problems themselves and do not offer any kind of undue burden on other people, quote-unquote, it... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It... Compassion is hard. But that's exactly why it's so important. Because sometimes you do have to shoulder the burden of dealing with other people's issues. But, as I was saying, it... As I was saying, awesome. forgiveness exists for people who have done bad things. If you forgive someone who you don't think has done anything wrong, that's not forgiveness. It's no harm, no foul, which is entirely different. And it... It... I think a lot of the reluctance of people to forgive and allow people to grow and change has a lot to do with quite frankly hyper competition in society that and i think it's very very hard to disagree though there are some annoying people i've talked to before who say oh hyper competition is a good thing because well human life what is the value of human life the entire point is feeding moloch but just endless churn in production for to create a Disneyland with no children to enjoy it. But it... You know, effectively that even if... Even if... You don't necessarily want to... Was perilous before, but not anymore, but that guy doesn't want to go down. Well, apparently the One Piece is real. Actually, based on what I've seen about recent chapters, it seems as if the One Piece basically is the friends we made along the way. Or that I just... Some of that Joy Boy stuff isn't the One Piece connected to Gear 5th or whatever. But I don't know that much. But as I was saying... Uh, it doesn't map. I have nothing to say about that. That is your discussion to have and mine to nod and say uh-huh to. But as I was saying... Uh, it doesn't matter that... Not every person can be as eloquent as Cicero, or as mathematical as Pythagoras, as long as society does not force you to be as eloquent as Cicero and mathematical as Pythagoras to succeed. And what is interesting is... Okay, so we've already been down some of this spot. Just... You know, unless some way to severely augment just basic human physical and mental capabilities comes into existence in the next few decades to centuries, it we're probably going to run into a situation where, with automation and just the fact that 
a lot of jobs like programming and that kind of thing are going to require more and more mental capacity. There's going to be a point where a lot of people around just are through no fault of their own aren't really going to be able to quote unquote do jobs. People are they're, they're probably going to have to find useless make work or the big thing is oh and what is this another star? Oh no this is just one that's down there. What is this even? And there's an article I read some years ago talking about quote unquote visions of the future and that was in conjunction with automation was a big part of the what the author saw as the crossroads for how human society is going to end up that pretty soon relatively soon we're going to reach a point where a lot of people just won't be able to work but and, th and this is something i always think about where when people talk about the idea of labor in that sense that you know, it's good that these people have an opportunity to be productive if they want to be, but to a certain extent, if you have it that bad already, you shouldn't have to prove yourself just to get to exist. And, but essentially, you know, when automation really kicks into high gear, who's going to be in charge? Who's going to be in charge of the robots and what they do? And what is that going to lead to in terms of the way human society is organized in that is it going to mean that if you can't work, well, you don't have to work. You don't get to be a cool guy commanding the computer fleet, but you can just chill and, I don't know, draw or paint or dance for your natural, probably extended human lifespan. Or is it going to be, oh, well, you can't work? Well, the overlords controlling the robot fleet say, well, I guess you starve then. And yeah, but that's what I mean is that if you want to do stuff, you should be able to do stuff, but the entire point is that even if you don't want to, you still have to, even as a severely disabled person, and it's just... I mean, I guess it's nice that if you want to do stuff as a person who's paraplegic or otherwise disabled, you could be, for example, a Walmart greeter if you wanted to. But it's not exactly the most engaging thing. It gets you out of the house and lets you socially engage. But what if you don't want to do that? And why should someone who is paraplegic have to do that just in order to survive? It's, you know, and it's sort of the question of... And a lot of people talk about, you know, good people and bad people talk about the question of alienation in modern society in that... So it's just that short little train ride. In that, a lot of jobs feel largely pointless. And that, in a, in a very certain sense, and there are a lot of people who say, well, life is a lot easier. And that, you know, sure, you don't have to do backbreaking labor in order to survive. You don't have to fight bears or pick crops or something. But I think what that ignores is... And, of course, a lot of people say this, the social aspect of labor. And, you know, wanting to do something that has a purpose. Because it... When you have to go and make... Harvest crops or hunt animals, or literally just to survive. It's very obvious why that happens and why you have to do that. But when it's a question of... Okay, an invisible wall blocks that off. But when it's a matter of... Okay, maybe in theory I don't have to hunt to survive, but my continued existence is contingent on making widgets for this guy. It there There's much more of a mediation between what you do to immediately survive in a biological sense and what you do in a societal labor sense. And it leads to a lot of, according to various philosophers alienation from your labor, from your purpose. It, which is why when a lot of people talk about good work, they talk about meaningful, meaningful work. And the late David Graeber, who died a few years back, I, he may or may not have, 
There, there was an author named Mike Davis who wrote a few excerpts which I read in a class I took about the architecture of Rome. And he wrote a lot about the... Let me just check. Mike Davis. He... Political activist. And... How did he... Life and... Okay. He died of cancer, but... Every now and then... And it's always really, really harrowing. You get some author or some philosopher, someone whose entire shtick is just looking into the state of modern society and doing deep dive academic analyses like... Okay, okay, I was confusing Mike Davis with Mark Fisher. But they go in and they just look into the state of modern society and just eventually it becomes too much of them and it literally gives them gives them depression not in a brain chemistry sense but in a psychological psychologically broken sense and a lot of them and it it's awful to say a lot of them end up committing suicide because they literally just think themselves to death and it it's really really sad but as i was saying Mike Davis wrote a lot about the economic life of the city, and one of the things he talked about was this sort of idea of hyper-exploitation, as he called it. He talked about people living in sort of city outskirts who had to do you know, various sorts of odd jobs to survive well in excess of what you would actually need to do if your life was about, I don't know, just harvesting crops... Hunting animals, that kind of thing. That kind of hyper-exploitation, and that... It's just sort of... After a certain point, it's... You know, to what extent am I doing this... To survive, and how much of it is an externally imposed constraint? It... It's always very, very strange. And, of course, she produces a bloom seed when applying dendro to herself. It... It's really, really interesting, because... So Kira applies one unit of Dendro, and now we're actually talking about the game again. One unit of Dendro to herself when she goes into cat box form. And which means that if you're in water, you'll consume that Hydro and produce one seed. But if somehow, because the Dendro only applies for basically half a second, apply it right before getting into water, the Hydro will apply twice and produce two seeds. Yeah, but it's... The entire- well, beyond that, it's sort of a question of... To what extent... Are you even working to survive? Because... It's not a question of mindset, it's... Not as if these people work because they enjoy it through some... Perversity. But just a question of... And a lot of people talk about the idea that a medieval peasant had more off days than the modern office worker. And it misses a lot of the context. And a lot of the context is that, you know, they had indebted labor because they were a serf. Or sometimes it would have, for example, in France you had the corvée. In Slavic nations you had the robot, which is the origin of the word robot. It literally means forced labor where they would have to, you know, where they were forced to work, but beyond all that, they also had to do a lot of work just to obtain the basic means of subsistence. That even after having to harvest stuff for their lord... Oh, Hajimat Senshi Judge Kane. We're talking about medieval peasants and serfs. How are you doing? But, yeah, but a lot of it has to do with what the job is. And, which is why a lot of discussion of work has to do with, you know, alienation, which has a lot to do with whether you enjoy your work, whether you see it as having purpose. And it, I won't lie, I would not claim to say that I, that this is harder than working in a factory, or God forbid working food service, which is something I hope to never have to do again. But beyond all that, a reason I enjoy it so much is because I get to interact with people 
I get to give people empathy, comfort, advice, and generally just engage with and converse with people. And that's what makes it so enjoyable. That's why even if, if I could make money off this and do this, even if it was an incredible amount, as long as I, I could support myself, I would enjoy that. Because even if it costs a lot of mental energy, even if I had to apply myself for ideas, self-promotion and the like, there would be a purpose to it. There would be a point. And, and not just in the sense of, oh my goodness, people are paying attention to me. My ego is so big, but in the sense that I get to talk to people about interesting topics that I enjoy talking about, and that they enjoy talking about, and give people company and comfort. Yeah, it... It's important for people to engage with the community, to have that social outlet. But the big question is whether that's an external imposition independent of your personal needs or you know, something done to fulfill those needs. It, I appreciate it. Again, please do not feel pressured. Please do not feel pressured to donate. It's not even something you can do yet. But... The big question is, I have been looking into, you know, revamping things in conjunction with the model upgrade. And the big question is, there are things like backgrounds, overlays, banners, buttons, potential emotes, and the like. And the big question for me is, do I wait for that to all get done before I start things up with a model, or... I... I don't think it's whining when I'm telling you to pay attention to your own personal needs before mine. But, I don't know. Y you did say in the past that as an Italian, that whining and yapping are important cultural traits, traditions, and practices. So, I, ne I need to engage with your personal framework instead of applying my own. But, as I was saying... Well, that's what I mean, is that it would take months. It would take actual months for that to all get done. Which means that I would quite frankly prefer to just... <sighs> use the model as soon as I can, because it... <sighs> I'm still asking about some details about the rigging. But it should... it will be done and ready to use relatively soon. It's just... it would probably be on the same gray background for a while, but I would... still prefer to have it as soon as possible, because... And it... Yeah, exactly. Well, there we go. The advice you gave was do what you want, as one does. Okay, so is there anything in here? Okay, yeah, we can dig and get a common chest. Since we got a couple more, we should be able to use the locator to see all of them. But, there was... The entire reason I got into streaming like this, and I've definitely told you the story before, probably, was... I had a friend who was interested in doing it themselves, and I was just sort of... Okay, cool, I'll help you out, figure out what you need, and they were very much attached to the idea that they needed to drum up publicity for a long amount of time as a tweeter, and then debut with everything professional quality, which would cost a lot, and it... Yeah. It... What do you mean, say that I want the opinion of viewers? But... And it was very much a sort of making the perfect the enemy of the enemy of the good, as I would say. That, you know, one of the few things that I ever ended up retaining, quite frankly, from some of the business-related classes I did in school was the idea of a minimum viable product that you can't just sit around waiting for things to become perfect. What you need to do <laughs> is figure out how to make things just work. And then, got a bridge, and there we go. Figure out what works, and then after that, improve from there. Or maybe not even have to improve. Maybe just keep going with that. Go but it's... They were just so, oh, I need to commission music. I need a highly expensive, multi-thousand dollar model. I need so many things so people pay attention. And all I could think was... And I actually saw someone around that time basically say, you don't need to do that, just stream first to see if you even like streaming and then try to figure stuff out. And... Okay, this is simple. I, there should be some kind of catch of this, right? I guess not. But... So I started streaming about... 
a year and a half ago, oh, a bit more seriously, a year ago, just with budget stuff, seeing where it would take me and how much I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it enough to think, you know, maybe I do want to make this more than a minimum viable product. But it was only because I had gone through seeing what things were like and what I liked that I could make that decision instead of just sitting around thinking, you know, how do I want to do this? It, And in the end, I think a lot of it was also just... They wanted... Yeah. They didn't want it as much as I thought or they went on and just kind of felt bad about telling me that after the research I'd done for them. Welcome back. But it... And one of the other things is just, for stuff like this, you need to seriously want it. Because to get started, you need to be willing to start out with basically nothing. Which is not fun, but it's part of the process. Okay, below, which means this is the one there. Monokuma, why are you in despair? I... Back in high school, and this... <laughs> maybe maybe I shouldn't be saying this. Well, flowers are brought back. See the mention before. Fine neighbors can't even open my eyes. Light shines the brightest this time. But back when I was in high school, and I never played them myself, but a lot of my friends were big into Danganronpa, and they ha they had this idea that... Don't worry, I know who he is. Do you have making a Danganronpa fan game? Which, for better or worse, it would be very hard not to. Okay, so, okay, we got more over here, which means we can actually get the one to show every remaining one. It, that that's rather in character. But the idea where we would all be characters, they want to make a Danganronpa fan game, which was really silly because, well, for one, well, there was a guy who could have done the art, he actually ended up going to the same college as me and doing a lot of art design for dorm events. He did stuff like that in theater, too. He would make our t-shirts for each show, but... And, oh, okay, there we go. Excerpts of Boys to Joyous Letter. Excerpts, more easily obtain every excerpt. Joyous Letters, and will that replace the other one? I think, I think she was calling you edgy. I think you should respond by getting really, really mad. Okay, and yeah, it did replace the other one. That there and wait, quick swap. That on fourth. What do you mean sleepy? How does being sleepy prevent you from being edgy? Fairy tale trove, unique chest only in Sydney, Lanka. Experience knowledgeable adventures, difficult to resist the temptation of fairy tale troves. Extraordinary sense of accomplishment. It's actually a lot here condensed in this relatively small area. It. Didn't you say you were emo or something? I think I think everyone here is a little bit edgy at least. I don't think any of us are beating the edgy allegations. If you gotta sleep, go ahead and sleep. I won't won't get mad at you. Here is Druni Adventure found only Simulanka, Trout's Tesser Curve, Turtle's Tesser Wisdom, Wisdom and Bravery and its mental qualities for exploring a fairy tale world. Well, I guess it's better than people calling you Elmo from Sesame Street. I didn't say that. So what do I need to put on here, then? This is strange. Oh, I am lagging out. Oh, huh. So to get over here, you keep on bouncing until I... Okay, there we are, there we are. And bounce again, and okay, that one does not move it. Okay, so the heart is over here. Can I turn around? So we tell her to turn around. That'll actually break the quest. Let's take this and complete the heart. Because, yeah, if you do it early, it ruins things, actually. Gives them a bad ending, so to speak. Put this in here. I don't I don't think you had to. I think you wanted to. I think you need to live with the consequence of your own decision and accept the consequences of your own actions. And now... Now you can turn around. I piece it together for you. And go get her. So now we've gotten this heart completed. What is it? 
Whoa. This is a good ending. But I think we get the same chest either way. The question is just the conclusion for these lovebird squirrels. What is it? What is it? What's your question? Hmm. So what are we going to find if we go over this way? Oh, oh, so clearly we need to mimic that. So I, I think I think that's going to have the exact opposite effect as intended. What you're doing is encouraging me to ignore any requests. Oh, and it goes through both of those holes. I should not have expected anything better than that. Why is my connection is acting up? Uh, okay, it's back now. Should be back now. I... Okay, the game connection is messed up. Game connection is messed up, but... I wonder what's going on. I... It might be a heat thing. It's probably a heat thing. I need to get the fan started. Give me a second. It. Years ago, years ago, I got in a situation where... Yeah, don't worry. Years ago, my family had my sister and I, me switch rooms because, very specifically, you know, I was going off to college, okay, and the fan is helping. The fan is blowing away hot air from behind the computer. Oh, eye infection? Do you have any glasses? That sucks. Okay, so we can drop down here, I think. But as I was saying, it's actually some of this. I oh, right with news. Alright, two and- okay. Oh my goodness. Thanks, and blast. One, two, three, and one. Can I get that? Will it- Hmm, interesting. Shoot. Yeah, yeah. But as I was saying... Switch out rooms with my sister, because I was going off to college, and she was going to be here. But now she's going off to college, and I'm here. I think we're going to switch rooms back, though. But the big thing is just, my room does not have good air conditioning. It... Well, what you do, then, is you, you glue them to your face... And you never take them off, or you get goggles, and you put those over them. I'm just saying words at this point. So, over in here, and I can't break that, it seems. Hmm. Some fish. So to complete these, what would that take? I, I wonder if I can mix and match these at all. Or if it's a color question. Yeah, I had to be a bit different with the color here, and connection point not found. Oh, oh, okay, so this one does nothing. This one is completely irrelevant, but that one over there, the mole, now we've freed the mole, we have to match that color, and there we go. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, is there another fish somewhere, or? I'm getting a little confused. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is that you're Paimon and you run out of brain juice? Fair. By not reading. Wait, so... Is that not... What we had to do with those fish, or... Wait. That's just confusing. So there should be... Oh, that... There was actually something in the wall. There we go. Okay, cool. It's safe now. That one's going back to that chest over there. Oh, okay. Oh, a cross. That's cool. I might have mentioned this before, but... Andrew, who's a friend of mine from college, who, he was, his audio was really bad, he, but he was briefly on my Bloodborne, one of my Bloodborne streams, because I needed to co-op with someone. I, I'm a little tired, so, my speech is slurring up, swilling a whittle, but, as I said, he did hockey back in high school. When he was over where he was, and he told me, and I don't think he was entirely joking, that the best part was the fights. Which, given that he does Zins, 
I don't think I don't think he was kidding. So let's go over this way. And what is this? Stack these higher than him. Wait, what about? Did I accidentally turn around? Did I accidentally turn around? I and that's kind of a question about how things are gonna go with the new model that it won't be able to turn as much which makes me kind of sad okay so stack them higher than him i wonder how high i'll be able to stack this at maximum hmm. actually oh well do you have to stack this up individually or hmm okay so i have to stack it up evenly okay makes sense yeah, yeah. So the higher we make this, the better. Oh, ouch. So in that case... That sounds a little awkward, maybe. Wait, so how then... Can I... Oh, oh. Between people, or... Okay, so clearly we need to take these down and put them away. Yeah, so now I think... We can use the... Triangle pieces to close it off? Maybe. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Front view and a nose. Yeah, nose jump scare. Nose jump scare. It. You can just barely see the shading sometime. Well. Were you? It. Oh. Ouch. So in that case, we got maybe a block to destroy over there. I, it's that chest. Okay. So what you're saying is that you did start most of them. That tracks. So where's our dynamite? Something red. Okay, so yeah, it's just gonna dig it back up. It. Oh, okay. Well, hello. Oh, something red, and he meant the slime. Oh my goodness. This guy. Not this one, and there we go, we got our dynamite, so. And it'll actually knock us away, which is funny. A little bit, just a little bit. Come on, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and that disappeared. So enhancement, and now we can send this guy over to the other chest. Now please go back. I might need to raise the spin speed of the fan. You might actually hear it a little now, but it shouldn't be too bad, because it's... How much can you hear the fan? I hope that's not a yes. It... If you went to jail... Well, for one, you wouldn't be able to watch me, but also it would be... It would be bad for your future, your self edification But the other question is just... Power drop, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna run it for a bit, because... Like I said, I think the, the computer is having a couple of problems. Having heat evaporate. It, I, you, you would be surprised. You would be surprised. Mm -hmm. If, if there's enough eyewitness testimony, you can still get in trouble. Uh, I would recommend avoiding violence as a means to solve your problems for a great many reasons it yeah okay so okay good as long as it isn't too much trouble because yeah right now it does seem as if i'll have to let it cool down a little or at least blow away a good deal of the hot air okay, but if there's a little paper thing can't see quite where it is Okay, so where is it? It... <laughs> Unless you want to get in fights for their own sake, I would not recommend that. If you do, I guess that's your personal business, though. Maybe. Yeah, because there's supposed to be paper here, but we got an apple, and if we sit, if I make it appear, would you like a piece of wood? I would! Full of wood chips. Oh, it's Forrest Gump. Okay. A fast fella. 
Wish I could... Yeah, this this toy guy is literally just Forrest Gump. Short legs. Ran into them monsters. Everyone shouted. Run, diamond, run. Yeah, it's... <laughs> what I did. Clear across the Forest of Blessings. Constellation Metropole. To the Titanium Mines. Then I got company. Dragon, come out, and that would be Durin. All we said, look out for new adventures. To on the path that's already behind you. Uh, running is all about. Keep adventuring, sure. What I want is those pages. It's your round traveler. Oh, and okay, it was just a chest. It... There, there's nothing I could say that would avoid you getting mad and saying that that's not a nice thing to say about Italians. But, as I was saying... When I was younger, I was also a bit violent, quite frankly. And I'm not really that way anymore, I would say. And I'm happy about that. It only ever caused me problems. Absurds of bliss. And, oh, so official and Oz are right here. Hello. As my familiar, always seen you as... Say no more, always stay. Most favored night raven. Couldn't agree more. Well, that's not much. Okay. Well, it's probably because of adrenaline, and... There was a decent chance that you get a big crash at the end of all this, so... Be cognizant of that, please. And it... What is up with the connection? Yes, I was. And I got in trouble for it. You know, eventually it... I had to stop because I was too small. But... Eventually everyone got bigger than me, which was... Probably for the better. But... You know, it... I would like to think it gives me some perspective. We'll see. What are you doing? It's... No, seriously, what is up with the connection? Do I have to fiddle around? I'm fishing. Where can we find fish? In the pond? Yeah. Is it an EpiPen too? Or in a rush? Get a bite soon. What are they gonna fish up? Oh, okay, there we go. We got a Mora capsule. It's a share? Come on, here's yours. But I... It... It just... God damn. It, yeah, it, this room, and I don't know what's up with the construction, it just does not get cold air in it. I do not know why. It's actually rather preposterous. Uh, and... Okay, now the connection is coming back. I've... It's a share, come on, here's yours, but... I need to actually talk to family about what's going on here. Honestly, if, if I could manage, I would try to swap rooms with my sister back. Because, you know, she's not going to be here for most of the year anymore, and it's just... Well, to be fair, she would be here during summer, but it's just... <sighs> the heat really is just this bad. It's literally too hot for the computer to function. The big thing is, is that sometime before next summer, I need to get... I need to get a better case. I need to go and buy... A bigger case so that I can mount more fans inside and actually have it output more, you know, have it cool it a bit more. But that said, the other issue is that it's, there's only so much a fan can do in a room that's just hot in and of itself. Okay, welcome back. It was, it's my fault. It's the fault of my connection. 
Which, thankfully, the main thing is, if I have the fan running around the computer and have it on for some time, along with the computer being on at the start of things, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But it, okay, and you're gonna get, okay, and that was easy to get the TNT. But it should help cool things down, but it, what do you mean too small for pitchforks? That doesn't even make sense. But as I was saying, if the air in here is too hot, there's only so much that can actually be done with just air conditioning. I mean with just a fan. Because the entire point of a fan is blowing away hot air. And if all of the air is hot, you can just, just blows more hot air on. It's not really about humidity as much as just it's just too hot and I, I i'm not sure how much ice would help but ice water that well the big thing is you know that could be a good idea i the main thing is is that it's more about cooling the inside of the computer than the outside of the computer I, you know, I'm going to go check to see if there's a decent amount of ice in the freezer downstairs. And if so, I'm actually going to do that. This is such a scuffed way to do things. I'll be right back. I hate my Chungus life. I'm not the one making death threats. I'm saying that you're making death threats to me by telling me to freeze myself. That would not end well by any means. Well, I... I'm gonna reposition the fan now. I'm trying to blow cold air into the computer. This could easily be very, very disastrous. Okay. Well, I... Can you hear the fan more or less now? The big thing is... Well, I'm turning it down, but... What do you never know? Okay, well, I'm... My life really is just full of constant pain and suffering, but... Hopefully this should help cool... Cool things down. Yeah! Because the mic was on when I closed the door. I have to shut it tight. Are you alright? 
That's, that's the beep of my tower fan. Or home. Thank you, moles. Okay. Let's continue blowing stuff up. It's nice having this little guide. And that is much, much better already. It. This... <laughs> the fact that I'm externally cooling wasn't that loud. Okay, but... Exited the challenge area. Oh, because the TNT. Okay. So there were chests it not down here anymore. But the fact that I now am actually externally cooling my computer. Thank you, thank you. Now I'm really back. I I, I was so preoccupied by putting a bowl of ice in front of my PC that I forgot to put myself back on. It is what it is. But, like I said before, the new model should hopefully be in use relatively soon. It does, yeah. Just in the room in general. That was a really good idea, thank you. It... I have... A, an unhealthy willingness to just suffer in silence. So, thank you for... Making me not do that. I- oh, okay, well... Mm -mm. Come on. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, well... One of you... One of you also made death threats, so... I had to... I had to restrain myself a little. My, my praise and gratitude... Reflect multiple sources of input. Oh, we, we had a discussion about Onigiri the other day. Talk about... Oh, come on. Talk about the... Uh, we were talking about the Italian fried rice balls. And I said they were basically fried Onigiri, and then everyone's favorite Italian said, No, they aren't. Okay, and... And you, let me guess, Yuegui is a cat now, too? So, let's keep on moving. Check this out. What else is here? How then is this going to work? Well, you know, it, it's your choice. You only have to be here if you want to. You're right to win prizes and all are welcome. Oh? Who's here? All are welcome. So this is the rabbit. Rabbit in blue clothes. Yeah. Correct, well done. Primal Construct Hydro Abyss Mage. Situation. Supergiant Squirrel Wishful and Cat. Fox wearing green, okay. Can't believe it's... Star Fox, Fox McCloud, and Peppy Air do a barrel roll. I... Those are games I need to play. I feel as if I need to play at least some of the Star Fox games eventually. Yeah. Then you wouldn't be able to bully me anymore. And then what would you do? Someone's singing, oh, down here, so... Oh, that hole in the well lets you go down. That's fun. I... That sounds fun. I would enjoy that eventually. But like I said, I do have an absolutely gigantic backlog right now. There should be something over here. So what is this? How should we decorate? Let me try. So, pinwheels and a... Duck, presumably. Hello, duck. Ducky. Reminds me of when... In... When this goes... Where does this go? Oh, so maybe the present box in there, or... There are no other seats, right? Either way, that needs to go... Or this way. What do you mean, lost without you? I wouldn't be able to play Professor Layton otherwise. I had to have your permission. But 
like I was saying, let's go and wait. So, yellow, yellow. So they're all kind of a yellow, so probably doesn't matter what we choose in the order specifically. It's catching point now found, and then this way, and is that it? Wait, so what do I put in a chair then? Is there anything to pick up, or what was so wrong about this? Huh, let's put this, oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that, so that one pinwheel, and is this... Wait, so what's up? Is there another bench that I need to put down, or... It's just confusing. And you eat a lot. And what you eat is apparently not Italian onigiri. Apparently. It... This is definitely helping the computer a lot more. Honestly, I'm not sure I even need the ice water. The big thing is that boiling air into the computer instead of boiling the hot air away from the back is probably going to work a bit better. Close to what? Sending a bomb to my house? You don't even know where I live. And is this here? Wait, so what? What then? Did I do this wrong somehow? I get the feeling that I may have done this wrong somehow. Hmm. Well, clearly the present does not go there, but... I... Maybe I need to check some of the other train carts to just see what they look like. What, what do you mean by destroying my face? That raises a large number of questions. Okay. Let's actually take a look at the train and see how it's made. Because I don't imagine it's something I do. Huh. There's a duck. There's a duck back there. Pinwheels and the cart connector. But... This is strange. Oh, I know you do, but... What, what do you mean by destroy my face? It... It's a little ambiguous. I'd like you to explain briefly and in detail. I want a detailed survey of your plans so I'm able to prepare. Okay. In real life or in Minecraft? That guy is down there and anyone give me a push. Up next, push. Well, that's cute. I don't know, you could... Give me that potion from the Sigwin story quest that makes your face look different and then melts your face off. That's an idea. Oh, we got a flower, get a cross, we'll need wind, interact. It's not installed in the installation point. Wind currents when attacked. Can't believe you took critical damage. So how do we... Oh, so do we have to link this from the other side? I think we do. Hmm. Flower pot, and already got across, so how do we link the other one? Put that down there, and thank you. I... Why? Why me? Okay, but I can't... Oh, but the one we had to pick up is just the one in the post. It... What, what did I do? What did I do to deserve this? No, really. What did I do to deserve this? Hmm. Enjoyable for who? You? Me? I... Speak for yourself? Who bullies who? No comment. No comment. But as I was saying, I need to find a way to move this around. So is it just the ducky? Do you have any specific aesthetic thoughts? Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm the responsible one. It's my job to put up with this and respond in a non-stupid way. And... Okay, can put that down. 
I suppose. If you're willing to put up with other people, just... Commenting. So how do I fix this? Not the pinwheels, but... Putting the dot down. Present, or... Oh, but there's something on... No. Yeah. Someone has to let it happen. I guess. But it... Like, oh, okay. Oh, we just had to tell him. Talk to him again. Okay, cool. So all I had to do was talk to him, and even that was beyond my capabilities. Not, 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 not reflecting well on me. Not reflecting well on me. And you don't say anything, even though the eggs are no longer on your head. Fair enough. Let's keep on moving. Hmm. I just want to check real quick. Did I... Okay, the stream did not break down. That's good. It wasn't like last time, but yeah, it's definitely... It's an overheating issue. It The ice water is actually staying... Not melted. Yeah, I... If I wasn't allowed to be... If I wasn't allowed to be nice to dumb people, well... Some things are better left unsaid. So, I wonder if we can go anywhere in this cave anymore. I don't think we can. Okay. I think you, you you kind of opened yourself up for that one. That's not what I said. And, yep, so that Durin dungeon is inaccessible now. Hmm. The only thing left would be this one little island in the middle here. Alright. A little bit over on these. And this was the one with the flower, but it... We're almost done with... Some... I did not do that! I did not do that! You invinced... A possible implication. That is not the same thing. I... I plead the fifth. You... Your attempts to incriminate me will not succeed. Only when I die a lot in Dark Souls. Or sometimes when a controller malfunctions. Well... I, I do... I just try to avoid it whenever possible. It... <sighs> Cussing is Reddit. Oh, and messily written a letter. Neighbor's friend's lighthouse and a little flower. Mentor with Rose will use my spoon table and stool. Wish you all the best. Neighbor is smarter. Okay. Hmm. I... What? Dying in Souls games and... Having a controller malfunction? Because that one time... Where I just went absolutely hog wild was about two months ago. Almost to the day. And it was because my controller... Malfunctioned and caused me to die and lose a really big blood stain in Dark Souls 3. That's how that happened. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Let's take you out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. And we got... Mm. There we go. Cool. Oh, oh, right. That, when I was playing FNAF. That's right. Mm. So then... I actually don't remember swearing while I was playing Pikmin. I remember FNAF, where I got actually successfully jump scared. I do not remember Pikmin. Honko and Apple and Berry. So the question is, Honko maybe? And that, I guess any of them would have worked? Well, it... Gomika. And to be fair, may maybe you're not as familiar, because 
I... I called the dog stupid a lot. I don't remember swearing at it. That's different. This house is separate. There's a dog in Pikmin. Sometimes it gets kind of hard to deal with. Okay. So actually... Uh, maybe it goes on here because it's the odd one out? Or do I have to collect more flowers? Titanium mines? Four flowers shall open your way. It... By whose law? That's my question. Who makes those laws? Put it all down here and... Mmm, can't see that well yet. So four flowers and where? That one right there. It... Who made you- who made you judge Judy and Executioner? Yeah. Which is why I don't play them. Well, actually... Oh, oh, well, finally another Whopper Flower. I was waiting to see when more would show up. I need, especially since I want their materials. And will we get- Yeah, we will get some stuff. That's fun. And- oh my- okay. Fun. Take that, and... Oh my goodness. Of course it froze me. I hate you. Come on, come on. Well, good luck forcing me. I... March to the beat of my own drum. Which... I don't have a drum, so... There isn't really a beat. But... There were a few times... In Dokapon, there, there was one time in Dokapon where I had to mute my mic because I was ranting and raving at one of the other guys. It was not one of my finer moments. Okay. Let's see. You could do that. You would, you would have to look for some time, though. And you would have to see some jump scares, too. Well, it was... Was that not obvious? You could see my mouth move. Okay. Let's pull this out and... Oh, another trampoline. Will that dig up another block to place? Hmm. Seems like it. I have to make this line up correctly. There we go, and a blue triangle should be good. It's okay. It's just like I said before. I have to be- I have to be nice to stupid people too. And over here we got- Oh, hello, and investigate. What is- Okay, this gopher is just doing his thing. Good for him. So, oh, right, we have to actually jump on it and then- Or if you just climb onto it, it won't auto-bounce. You need to either fall or- Jump. Hmm. And over here. Which way is next? Come on. Come on. Hmm. Oh, interesting. There we have it. And we got another trampoline. It. I'm glad you. Th I'm, I'm glad you have such high self esteem. I hope that works well for you in life. So, keep on moving. How is this gonna work? Broken C. I see. I also broken. Throw up some of this. Hmm. Over here and. Oh, hello! Hi there. I see? Was that a pun? Or is it because I just put a ice bowl in front of my computer? Okay, and one, two, and blast, and oh my goodness, that dealt a lot less damage than I expected. Well, okay, and oh my, and how am I stuck on the stupid ledge? You've got to be kidding me. I hate this. Come on. Oh, okay. And what song is that? Is it Italian or is it from anime? Okay, so our chance is over this way. We took some of those guys out. Oh, and now we can 
use a few more artifacts there. So right, we're leveling these up for... Right, that was the third option. I forgot. These are for Emily, and Aoi is holding them right now. It's the most useful thing Aoi has done. Okay. Thank you. I just wonder... Well, it's not real. It's not sacrificing them. I never use artifacts below five star for anything at all. Who is Itzy? And we got our Dendro. Goblet up. So this is mostly level. It's about as level as the Sigwin set I made. Hmm. Oh, okay. Go in and smack a couple of these. Well, I kind of figured, but girl group, boy group, what, what's the what's their deal? Give me the lowdown. So, this broken part over here actually does remind me a bit of Musujin Gorge. I thought I, I thought as much, but I appreciate the confirmation. Let's break all these hillatrol accoutrements. How much is left? Hmm. See some of this, and... How then? Okay, so one of those toy miners is glowing, so I want to see... That's probably quest-related. What are... I want to so high up. It's one of the tree we already got there, and it leads to... Other one with a goddess of fate statue over there. Oh, oh. It. Forget what their name was, but. There was that, that group of girls who got a lot of hate on TikTok for trying to do an idol group thing as Americans. Or at the very least, there was one white girl in that group. And and it led to a lot of weird discourse. Because it... I forget what they were called. It, it was, I don't know, Berry Swirl or something. I know that my sister was telling me about them. Yeah, it makes sense. But... They got, they got a lot of, it was two Asian girls and one white girl, and they had their little cheer thing, and someone said that it was racist because they used sort of a kind of Japanese pronunciation of an English word or something, and it, eventually she ended up saying that it was an idea from her Japanese boyfriend, and it was just sort of... I am glad that I am not involved in, a situ in situations like these. That's all I can think. It. And. Oh, right, because she can do. How much of application? Finally, Hutao Relevance. Use that to light that on fire. And. Okay, so we can't move it anymore after that. It'd be funny if that unwit her deal, but let's see. Oh, well. And we ran out of time. So, let's just do this again, and so we had to make our torches, and most hotel relevance in literal years for me. Poor hotel. Okay, but just does not work all that well with recent team archetypes, and this is the team I want to make for Sethos, but we need to level up Kirara and also level up Sethos's... Well, actually, some of his talents are leveled somewhat decently, but... Yeah, but... The big thing with a lot of... Statements on topics like these is that... They're inherently disingenuous. Whenever... Had heard something in her hat. Good old Pat. Oh, a particle. Things where success is based around popularity... It's, and it's part of what I talked about before with hyper-competition, that everyone will always be looking for an opportunity to eliminate competition through any means necessary. And the easiest way is to accuse them of having done something bad. 
a lot of the time. So it's, you know, even if they actually did something, it's, in this case, it was just, quite frankly, silliness, but it, they would, pe people's involvement is not out of, generally speaking, a desire to pursue justice, but an opportunity to get rid of competition. Need staff, goods arranged in an orderly manner, so we have to do a bit of arranging here. All right. So what kind of chest are we going to get from this? And it, oh cool, we got all these little toy houses. Yeah, but it's, you cannot really expect better from people, sadly. Take that and put this down here and will this work? There we go, cool. And exquisite chests. We got red, yeah, I mean, blue, yellow, and brown houses. Okay. So how do I make this work? Hmm. Go ahead and... How many more objects are in the area? I'm wondering. I heard something pop just now. Okay, it was that ruin storage phasing out, it seems. Interesting. But it, there's not that much left in the mines, so... Mm. Find the rest and... Does that guy want to get pushed down the slot? Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. Push. It. That's finicky. That'd actually be a little farther away, but... I am not going to complain about getting more Mora. Because we're going to get... The big thing is that, I forgot to mention this, but I actually did a bunch of farming for Eon Blight Drake materials. Because, and they, it seems like they just keep on changing it, because last cycle, Sai was originally one of the starting characters, but they changed it to Farazan for Imaginary Theater, but this time, oh, oh, someone was... This time, Layla got replaced with Diona. So I actually had... I farmed Eon Boy Dragobun so I'd be able to level up Layla. Yeah. But I just don't need to do it, which is nice, because it means I can save more materials. A lot of those talent books for coming not one characters and have to do us farming, but... It is what it is. Okay, cool. Come back, well... He can come back after I kill these Hillitrals. And... Will it open on its own, or... Okay, we have to open it ourselves. Thank you! Hello. I'm this close, thank you. Come back. Oh, okay, and they teleport back. Common chest and uh, excerpts of bliss. Sweet flower seed exceeds amount limit. We'll have to give him a house. Oh, so we have to, we have to build him a house? That's cool. If at all possible, but 1800 protocols within 48 seconds. How's this gonna work? I... Oh, okay. Automatically sent us up that way. Oh, I didn't even notice that every single block has a trampoline sign. It's just some of them don't have them properly rotated in that sense. That's fun. Awesome. And over here. Hmm. And got an exquisite chest. Okay. Go over the other side, and there are a few places we can blow stuff up. Oh, we got also egg and sweet flower. My hoarder instincts have been activated. Okay. Now we have some TNT down here. Should be easy enough, and just pick up another one after that one explodes. Oh, wow, it multi stage demolition. Wonder. Oh, so one of them was fake, it seems? Maybe. And. Investigate. And over here we have. Just a common chance. It is interesting that all the blocks show up under elemental sight, but only the ones with the little placement points can actually be destroyed. That guy just had food on him, carrying a little leaf. So it's contagious now? Understandable. Oh, I wonder if they're asleep. Okay. Go over this way and... 
Mm -hmm. To awesome. give him a house. So probably in that case we have to link that over there. Then, yeah, well, that's their personal business. Oh, okay, so it's just you make another house. And, well, there wouldn't have been blocks to exactly replicate it anyway, but it... I do wish that color scheme would have been maybe a little bit more varied, at least not have had two of the same kind of block. Or if we could have made them all green, that would have been nice. Well, as... I will take that as a statement that I calm people down and relax them. Or you can call me boring. That works too. Whatever works. Is missing positions correct? Yeah, I try not to yell. At least not too much. Missing something. Got that, and we need... Ooh, huh. That is rather strange. Connection point not found, and... Well, as long as I can help. So can I rotate this in any way, or... This is legitimately quite strange. Huh. I... Weird. Maybe it's connection point not found. Put that on top. Okay, so it seems as if... Only one ones that are the right color will connect correctly. Will correct connectly. Put that down, and there we go. Cool. That's really only this island left and one tiny island over that way. Hmm. With a time trial of some sort. I'm wondering how I'll reach that then, but... I saw this down here, which is where I did part of that quest line, too. Quest line where I got to the far away island where we had to get the sword-like fang from this location. Let's keep on going over here and see what there is to find. Hmm. This right here is... Fly along the magic thread. Okay, so clearly this way down, it's on the same level as that time trial island, so I presume this is how we would get there, but... Before that, I want to do stuff on the upper level, so I don't miss anything, but... Well, I can't get up there easily right now. Without using, of course, the teleport waypoint, which is a little, a little cheap. Just a little bit. Huh. Okay, so we got some more monsters over here, and... It is interesting that the Hillitrules are specifically weak to elemental damage. They resist physical more. I did not know that. What's the what's the deal with that then? That sounds cool. And I presume that not all of these will have anything. That had a Mora capsule, but one of these is probably going to be a chest. And oh, that's to repair the connection point. Okay. And just over that way, cool. And there we got our chest. Hmm. Check some of this out, and... Oh well. But along the magic thread, and... Just go back, and okay. But there's one that leads up in that part over there. So that's where I should go next. Try some of this, and... Fight along the magic thread. And... Go over here. It's a relatively big area, but it's relatively empty, because it's just these guys, and we can swirl you to break your shield, how convenient, thanks. Alright, and, oh my, oh my, okay, oh my goodness, I, oh, alright, fine. Big thing is, I think I might be able to reload the area and have it return to a accessible location. Two volumes in November. So what's all, what is it all going to be about, then? Do we know what the contents are going to be, or...? Well, that guy is... Okay, and yep, the drops went to its original location, more or less. That's good. So, forcing a reload did work. It Dark Souls does something a little similar for items like that, too, actually. And... You're kidding. Oh, come on. Well, it's because the slope was... It wasn't actually flat. 
Come on. And another end. Dodge out of the way the arrow. That was pretty tight timing. So my question is just how many more excerpts are there going to be in general? 234. So if these are all of them, then presumably it would be 240 in total, maybe 242, because that weave icon and the paper plane should give me multiple. A PVC car. Oh, uh, basically a drawing board, I think. Yeah. Okay. Basically, an, sort of a little framed poster. Quite the gift. Oh, so is that the house I made? How did it get transferred from there to here? It's interesting. So if I'd gone there earlier, presumably you would have had dialogue talking about wanting a house, maybe? But if it's just a toy house... Yeah, yeah, I wonder what it's gonna be then. It's interesting. Here we go. Another time trial. 10 within 120 seconds, and does that have to do with the gopher? You're gonna have more show up once we get a certain amount, or... Oh, so some of them are just popping up intermittently with... The gopher. Okay. Hmm. And... You. Who's next? You're next. And the last one. Come on, give it to me. There we go, there we go. Get that common chest. Okay. Figure some of this out. And... Hmm. For some of these. There we go. Excerpts of Boyas. Birthday wish. Oh, we have to light a candle. It's fun. And I'll staff ensure arranged in an orderly manner. Seeing this away is a good idea too. And now we just gotta. I guess it's Rutao's job again. I hope she's having fun. There we are. Okay. And now it's- oh, oh, so that just burns it to a crisp, and now it's a black cube that we can ignite and put back where it originally was. That's really, really funny. The party don't stop till Hu Tao wa start till Hu Tao walks in. So the final cube, the yellow cube, and where is it? Around the other... Ah, oh, it was sort of hidden. And that should be it. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I... I liked that. It was a very amusing way to do things, but also you can see... These are mirror images of each other, so it's also another way to tell what you need to do. Oh, what we got? Well, actually, you know... Sigwin can be our new substitute then. But not not Zhongli, not Zhongli. I got stupid. Turned around. Do you mean life of the party? Or was that a pun too? Let's move back down and mm, get a little bit more over here then. It's probably underneath. Probably, well, take that flower. Okay. So then, just a little bit more over this way, and... Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, down here. Just go down in this part of the mines, and... Very little left. Only three little bits, but... Well, it... Well, what I mean is... The English expression, as you may or may not be familiar with, is specifically life of the party. It 
It sounds a little similar, so... I would understand if it wasn't immediately obvious to you. Well, what was the post? Oh, so this is the guy! Treasure-hiding hobbyist. Deep enough here, what are you doing? Friends, scared the living daylights out of me. Perfect treasure spot back in the Metropole. Seemed too simple. Treasure secret, bit of a challenge. Okay. I was just checking. Because every now and then you say that you, your grasp of English is not complete, so I try to give you the benefit of the doubt. I can always stop. I can always be meaner. All you have to do is say the word. But... Oh, oh. And what was their post about? Uh, it, it's true, though. Challenge once in a while. So that was the guy who made all those signs before. My question is... Clearly, what happens? Way out. Can I put a bomb down? Totanium mines collapse, traps here, nothing but titanium. Hard titanium, so nice. Only dig deeper, run a path through, that's amazing. Can you go back up? Some wind to give us a push. I want to see. We could be very mean here. Oh. Okay, it didn't do anything. But clearly we need that flower. Thank you. Fair. But what, what did they say about that? Wind can ascend, thank you so much. And now we got a chest. Cool. Well, I'm happy to help. I can always use even more big words. A giant dragon. Oh, and dig it. Oh, well, I... Interesting. So this is one of its ball attacks from before. It's kind of like a sealer then, or... Where's this thing going? What is this place? Where am I? So a shard of Durin? Encounter. Well, I, I suppose, but what were they trying to say about it then? Was that their one post? Okay, got to get out of here. Yeah. So where is... This is interesting. Follow this floating cube. And... Wait, is this guy heading back to the cave where we fought Durin? So they can accept it doesn't exist. Is Durin memories? Or where should I go? Hmm. Oh, so it was just showing off some of Durin's memories when Durin was in the Titanium Mars. That's cool. So it does seem as if We've got 241, so 242 should be the final bit we need. Alright. It is interesting how there are examples of little bits of customization, even if they don't mean all that much in building stuff with the blocks, which is probably in part because it is a limited time area, so if you quote unquote screw up, it's not like you'll miss that much in the end. Alright. So we've done. I I am not aware of that meme. I I have not heard of that meme. 1500 particles and oh okay, so it switches in between. Yeah, it I, I would say a lot of things are better than bots following you. I don't. Like I said, we have very, very different feeds. Can just send it in the server. I Okay. In the end I <laughs> Let me see. Go, and all excerpts of bliss collected. Okay. Cool. So now we let me see. Have a good amount of rolls to make. That's 210 premium gems alone, and then with Rainbow, that'd be 220. If these all convert, that'd be 52 more, so 272. That's already awesome. hard pity three times, which does mean to me good now on savings. Keep on moving. Okay. Yeah, I put in the server and I can look at it eventually. Frankly, I think a verbal description might be funnier. 
So there's nothing really over here at the moment. It's so the shield, and the star got put up in the sky behind her, so... Hmm. Let's think about some of this. Okay, just checking. But... Till this and below, right, we can jump down. Done that already. Yeah. So this is just that room we went to previously. One with the stuff from all the previous summer events. Fun stuff. <sighs> okay. There we are. We have the Harpass of the Statue and the Key, the Blocks and the Garlands. A domain in a castle and summer of island adventures. Sure, forest of blessings, flower ring, rainbow toy, broken sea, paper garland, flower ring, broken toy, rainbow toy, and clockwork key, mysterious clockwork constellation metropole. And this is what we read about. The mouse getting eaten by the cat. Okay. So, I suppose we've done this already. I... am not familiar with that. Interesting. So, did someone make a Genshin one with Nilo and... True Thoughts been listening. Come on, come on. Mm-hmm. So where to then? Let's check around this way, and I guess we could fly on the thread. So what what are the ones people are making then? I, I assume that the most popular one was Kaveh and Al Hytham because Okay. Mm hmm. Well, the big thing is we can go and s maybe okay let's check some of this and oh and right these have respawned all the lake light lilies have respawned which to be fair I already have enough for emily but no harm in getting more they got fontaine specialties in here there might have been more. I'll swear. Big thing is, we can check all the descriptions now. So I think I'll do that. Alright. Oh, but... Wait. I guess we just immediately got a healing tech. Let's go and check some of these out. Figuring fabrication and... Now we can check these all out. Okay, we got... Thirteen in each location. Right. Striking Paper Fog, Basis Super Star Competitor, Ring Song Pun, Jumping Contest, Great Jumping Prowess, Written Competition, Deep Impression on Zudi, Somewhat Larger Model, Match with Frogs, Excellent Skills in Zudi's Memory at least. This one once leaked far higher than any other, Ebby for Bear, and Visitors in the Heart, and that's whatever her name is, the Squirrel Princess, Certain Princess. Post that of Conch, I'm swollen, ready to vault. Seizing the skies, something all flying scrolls and visage in their hearts. Prone and resolute appearance. What, what do you what do you mean by that? Another. Citrus, mixologist of Quickery Tavern, place on a shelf for display, certain incantation. Convey the feelings every resident taste of the junction makes. Another focal point and a formally dressed finch ball based on theater costumes meant to attract attention to performing a village that gazes increases expectation might break out in song. Pop up paper frog. Well it for for most people, being pathetic is bad. Why have we green paper frog put on a good shelf for display on Zudi himself, so yeah, Zudi is a he. Starting point of his model journey, resent adventurous spirits, so that's challenges ahead. Bully loop around the world, creating more outstanding models wherever he goes. Then, strict quality control. Strictly can death search for the finest bands. Choose their model making, only strictest quality control. 
Make the best products model based on a band conductor and a wand from Questline. Take on new purpose. Exhort Zudi. Demand the best of himself every time. Unbound by the storm. You can all be red flying swirl based on Quancha, the one running the flying minigame. Here's Yasm while the flying challenges. Under howling world currents. Scroll with both arms fully ready to leap into the wild winds at any moment. Call me a nut. Q fall be hamster, place on a good shell for display, peel my shell and call me a nut. Once catchphrase left an unexpectedly deep impression on the Zuri. Old name given to the model based on the former. That's interesting. It But Avatar doesn't have cultural relevance all that much, doesn't it? Spartan Capable Hamster, Vibbit Recreating Appearance, Go Around Carrying Bowl of Fruit. It's on a good shelf for display. Short arms, count it with objects the usual way. Techniques to carry objects on their heads. Raise at center of gravity, stability is an issue. Light touch required, setting up, prevent from tipping over and being damaged. Scouting Blossom, so that's a target from the Boomerang Squirrel minigame. Origami Fireball model, delicate, my burst of touch. Good shelf for display, great target for use during flight. Flying Squirrels, Fruit Between, suggest such targets, conquer a screaming wind. Carving out a corner of the skies for themselves. Hmm. Fancy Water Slave, Water Sleeve Sage, a stance, a paper frog, tap of jump, sturdy. Paper frog model, wondrous effect akin to that of a band's performance or raising water. Flying instructor. Furious flowers, slowly spinning model, crawl up and they sleep, really awakened by impacts. Make their displeasure known, unleashing floral fury, only flying skills of skill, as in the princess one the crits produce. Challenging the Fury, a way to prove a build. Cute name of flying instructors. Birdie the friend. Friend with Finchball on a shelf for display. Finches surround people as they sink. So it is rare to see. Cute model, regretful feeling as reality might be mended. Hmm. Evidently so, so the detective. Lloyd figuring, self assured look, certain detective, self confident, one is seen through everything, nothing simulanky cannot discover. Well, because. When people are thirsty, characterization becomes a suggestion at best. Training dime. This is going to sound ridiculous, but <laughs> now that that water is starting to melt, once it's fully melted, I might end up drinking some. The bowl is clean. So there's expression, good show for display. Then I feel like a... Japanese ogre drinking sake out of a bowl. Pull the guard Alof, the one who runs that minigame, always training. Come on the model, feel a certain desire to work harder. Which was meant to be. Good shelf display, opinionate, stubborn young resident. Fear is not fearful, not daring to admit your fear. It's fearful. Strive and understand, change oneself, a good attitude towards life. Miraculous star. Oh, dazzling model star, good show for display, regular appearances in fairy tales, gotten people on the way forward, look up at the skies when in doubt, a miracle may descend upon you. And you can trade, actually. Interesting hatter. On Devit, traveling making toy models, loves hats even more even than sitting. Hatter wishes to be as soon as possible, considering. Keep it in thought. I'm not drinking the ice right now. And it won't be ice, it'll be water. Moons are strained, recreating what they're like when stuck with super glue, which shelf for display within a slight. Don't be armed, do not hesitate, people who need saving. Try this at home and that. Mud figure for display, found feelings, feeling, check the lamppost and the danger. Pose best not imitated because probably the trout would rip it right off. Can't see me. Looking behind cover, danger approaches, they used to conceal themselves if monsters target them. Let's reduce the technique, difficult for one to emerge as champion, where a hide seat competition to be held. You're footing another upside down. Restrain, vividly recreating. Movement restrictor, regards the situation, careful with footing. The step can see would wind up just like the model, veritable vantage. Besides, gazing afar, pass you by what least expect. Case of cancer goes hot, but far out, see beauty off overlooked. And this owl, where was that owl? Clockwork owl, owl musician. And that, through the dark, eyes of soldiers trapped in the night, guiding them to victory. Night's a nemesis. But that. Wasn't that owl musician? Right, that was from the combat minigame. Excellent companion and the llama. Show slots, mark of a fond friendship. Zudi made all matter of friends, constructed all kinds of models. Super glue. Use the property, sick all people, things together, tricky once it dries. Powerful adhesive, tragic experience on the part of the modeling artist. 
Okay, probably got stuck. Do we take your mind? Sing hey ho. If people we figure reminders at work, wouldn't chance come by short, powerful shouts, devout, loud, rugged voices. Did such cries, cut words of ore transported from the mines, shaped metropole as all know it today. With respite, sitting on the ground, certain skilled miner, with a like the desire, be a hard work. One gentle head nurse, don't skew too hard towards work. Short balance between work and rest, probably Siglin. Wonder how she would be involved with him. Defined edges, combined descriptions from legends, things he's heard for construction, good shell, sturdy shield, any attack, block without breaking. Most cowardly paper frog can find courage. Exaggerated name Avatar of Valor. Sharp sword. Sharp blade. Slice mountains, dice seas, banish both terror and doubt. Can break the shield. The question that even its creator cannot answer. Yeah, immovable object versus unstoppable force. Not a chance. Men of Earth, good show for display. Modern gophers, yep, gophers. Softer salt to dig into. Walk out in the land, encounter with them at work. Which experience, chance of meeting even one while traveling is low. Through odds of spotting a mining gopher in this model. Sure thing, because it's definite that it's there. Model, how it pokes out from Man of Earth, but it have the appearance as they work. Some more model, one is guaranteed to feature a minor gopher model. What about one who's an adult? Free journey, toy flat exudes liveliness, embark on a new journey at any time. Good shelf for display, equipped with coloration, encourages Zudi to move forward. Blue reminds people of boundless skies and rushing rivers. And this. Original model, red symbolizes courage and hope, brave northerly wind says, and that stakes are normal, nothing is truly perfect, and that's the story connected to the flying minigame. Red flower models used to grant others courage to execute duties and continue moving forward. Non flammable, not explosive. Square model, replica of toy bomb for display, did not design with a toy bomb's explosive functionality, safety reasons, special handle required for displaying and exchanging, oh, also exchanging, my trading imminent dream. Exquisite model carriage, combining. Unfinished shrink or concept with his imagination, all manner of decorations, gorgeous sight, pair of wisdoms that fishingly saw, model crane, some mechanical structures, even weakness resonance can lift heavy objects with ease, while well, there is also a block hanging in the mine area. Power of wisdom vaunted many fairy tales, which was the Kirara side quest. Mentioned wisdom. Model Moncart with all manner of ore, design prizes and pussy, civil design has a setting aura, grant or safe passage, no matter how dangerous. Treacherous to the terrain. Let's play and swings. Little swing place. Either two states, both being used or both empty. Swing spins. Magical attraction draws others in. Invitation to come. Let's play together. All right. Wonder if we could trade any. Does not seem like it gives me the option. Let me see. Figuring fabrication and this is exchange. Oh, wish list. Okay. I... how many do we have? Could give one. Not on display. Oh, but... Not on display will be shown, so... Give one... Too few. Wait. Huh? Wait. How many of those do I have as compared to... Hmm... Got two of those. That'd be nice. We'll go some bones we have extras of. Sure. Okay, and <clears throat> let me think. That's all that's in Simulanka, basically. Actually, there were some hamsters over this way, so let's actually check that out real quick. See how this works, and yeah, there were some hamsters that didn't seem to be connected to any objective or quest. This is where the alpaca was for the sort of tutorial on grabbing things with the mouth. Over here is. Is there anything over here? Hello. It just four hamsters and nothing to show for it. All right. Hmm. May as well take these. And actually, yep, and we got our mining. It's good. And I suppose the other thing would have been, I want to see if the berries will come back over here now. And so there were berries stolen from here as part of a little side mini objective. And okay, they never come back. Okay. So what I want to do then is... 
find out where everyone has gone. I think Navi is in Poisson right now. Let's go ahead and check. Navia, Navia, Navia. Because I know that the characters... So we saw Fischl in that area. Stand there. I know that a number of characters find locations after the quest. Let me just look this up, honestly. Then, skills, event, and the story. Open world NPCs and interactables. And then open world. The open world. Wait. Where are all the locations then? Oz, Mini Durin. Open world after appendix. Koi is not there. Churi and Korind. Well, Znavia, Nahira, and Nilo. Kirara. So maybe they're about a boutique? I know that wanders over in the academia, if I recall correctly. So we can go over this way and see if they're there. And it certainly does not look like it. So, in that case, where do I go? Appendix and... Afterward, check that out, and wander into Hira, disappear during odd textual mystery, wander into Hira, and kids over there, and uh, Kirara in Inazuma City, and oh, they're actually right by the boutique, just on the other side. There they are! Hello! Stood up, crumble. Let's run the kingdom. Too much... too much d, &D. Not at all, I haven't seen her in a little while. Come to me, see for yourself. King doesn't sound so far-fetched, but it's quite easily, but confidence. Royal tailor and bodyguard. And have rules like that? Music box. New appreciation of your recent adventures. Dancing figures. Step off its track and start moving. No more currents there. Should anything happen in the real world? No more person. And bad news. Obake. Ghostly. So if I check over in the city, Kirara should be around here, which. It's the first time of. Well. She, there was that one quest, but it wasn't really an Inazuma quest. Sinkira in Inazuma City. Where is she? Come on, come on. Ah, right over there by the stand. So two of them. Hello. Konnichiwa. Matatane. Oh, lots of things to say about clothes. Amazing. Keep it. Fushigi Bayone. Mysterious. The texture, nice, not messing around delivery. Around makes people suspicious. Ryo Sengangun, who is thousand stone army? Yeah, literally, thousand stone mill with thousand rocks. The Fontaine, Liway, Jeremy on the spot, old outfit, not on the job, on the job. No, why? Adventure, magical world, scenery, Hotel Tashkata, a lot of fun, friendly people. First time for that. Choose everyone, wouldn't scratch anything from under a track, which I to see. Oh, right, her grandma, which is presumably also a cat. Future plans. Pay a visit to the world beyond, worried about whether it's safe. If you visit or view the guide, use the delivery box, see new things, catch up another time. Adventuring, it's so much fun. How's... Oh, well, actually, there are a lot of facial expressions. Let's see. And... That day... And... Very, very well done. And... Jumbo's and... 
Close the eyes, Kimitachi. All of you guys, yeah. Poor old you. So then over in the bazaar and the academia should be Wanderer. Let's see. Well, also, if I put Nahida in the party, she can do a bit of mind reading. Oh, oh, because of that, and people thought it was crumbs. I saw that. Okay. So, and Nilu should presume... Yep, she is right here. Hello, Nilu. Oh, and oh, they're in the world as normal animals. Interesting. Dance on stage? Ato de buta. Adoroto. Yeah, can on the stage later, literally. Oh, oh, it's the cutscene for Sphere herself, Yose Dono. Lady Fairy. And. Wonderful sight. Dog over there has been staring at us for quite a while. Dog. You are that. Ah, oh, Swoof. Swan Dayo. Oh, Swan. So, Wan is basically Wolf. In Japanese. Frogs and hamsters? No eating. It. That, that word does not lead to productive discussion. <laughs> yeah, well behaved doggy. You're not as dangerous as we feared. Where are you hiding behind me? Oh, and they've got a geometric pattern on the frog. I mean, in the end, it. I, I think what a lot of the discourse shows is that, like I've said before, there's a certain argument that if you try to make a game that appeals in the way that Genshin does to a sort of gender-balanced audience, you basically doom yourself to failure eventually, because... The interests of the two halves, or two categories, you know, because halves is a bit strong, it's more like two-fifths versus three-fifths, well, eventually, they have inherently opposed interests. And that keeping up the balancing act without your fan base, tearing themselves apart and driving each other away from the game, is something that can only be done for a certain amount of time. Let's just repeat that cutscene, okay? Fair enough. Let me see if there are any other... Does it worry? Good dog doesn't bite. But the big thing is that... Like I've said before, a lot of the performance of... I think I mentioned that Snowbreak game that literally raised its age rating and removed every single non-player male character and became very, very centered around fan service. And the fact that Tower of Fantasy is actually going on a similar route based on what people, what they've shown apparently. And app apparently, you know, making good money off it because it's... You know, they can target, they can zero in on one specific audience, even if arguably they have more competition, but it's... And very, very similarly, according to some recent metrics, though, it, it raises a question about sustainability and how much of it is temporary and... Nahida cannot read her own mind. That... Recently... Apparently, based on revenue markers, ZZZ got 
the most revenue of mobile games, but the second most was Love and Deep Space, which is kind of the opposite of that, if you're familiar. <laughs> haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Since after being cooped up, so my prison, what's the problem? A good mood at the moment. Ah, so... Hiding inside her. Not another word. Claire Dasu? Tashi Otomodachi? Not just a friend, but sort of honored friends. Trying to read my mind. You need to have written all over your face. Hmm. Hmm. It. More Nihira content. This is getting hand. Now there are two of them. Okay. So, I guess we can do today's bounties and requests. Well, this week's, this week's bounties and requests. Some of this, and go over here. How then? Get my bounties, get my requests. This one is Claymore wielding, so that's the one I use Navia on. It's to play with various other characters. Milk, raw meat, and ride Clockwork Mecha. Okay, cool. Switch to that Navia team. It's always fun to give another chance to come on out. Don't need that out anymore, because no more Simulanka. You, Bennett, and... Official. The big thing is that I'm not sure how well the game will be suited to what seems to be the changing landscape of mobile games, because like I've said before, I think there is a pretty strong argument to be made that the reason the game was able to have a relatively gendered balanced audience was because it was literally the only thing in town for a while of basically high production value for your live service game. And now that games that are more specifically targeting specific audiences are breaking onto the scene. I did not expect her to let out that little yelp when the rain started. But it... It's interesting. We'll see how things go, but I... I do find it very, very interesting how... Two, three, and can I blast? Oh, well, it already died. Okay. Simple enough. I didn't even get another hit. But. Basically. The proportion of male versus female character releases in the game has never been higher, as in more balanced than it was in year one. And I don't think that's a coincidence. Because I think when they were just starting out, there was only so much they could know about Cornemek over there, immune to pyro. Well, I could use Navia on again. I need chances to use Navia. But effectively that they were a bit more experimental in a number of ways, such as, well, making characters like Kai and Zinyan. Because they were trying to find out what would be successful and what kind of audience they would get. And they coalesced around, you know, something else after seeing how things were going to end up. Which I think is for better or worse, a reasonable way to do business, but, and, one, two, three, and you've been totally stopped in your tracks. There we go. And, I wonder if Navi will be well suited for the final one. The big thing is she was able to get a good amount of Numa and Usia annihilation reactions. Keep on going. But, like I said, it does make me wander and worry a little. 
how they're going to be catalyst wielding characters. Hmm. Yeah, we'll use the Rathazzle team on that. Sort of whether they're going to continue zeroing in on one audience instead of trying to keep things balanced. Especially since there's some somewhat dubious leaks that suggest that if Capitano was playable and just I, I didn't. Good for them. Was that the one where one woman hoisted another woman? And do people know for sure, or are they just assuming because they play volleyball? Because that is kind of a fair assumption. Oh, okay. Oh, it's something different. Okay. Let's give them Fab and Fab. Oh, but that's on Shinha. Okay. Hmm. Go down, my question is... To level up my third fav lance, what kind of weapon do I need? I mean, item do I need, so... Saturday, Saturday could be... I could get a few more chains to strengthen that. Hmm. Keep on going... Oh, but interesting. Guess Zhongling is going to be getting a lot of vape. I suppose, yeah. So, is it is it all of them together? Or? And, okay, we got that, which is good. And, thank you, and, one, two, and, two, three, and... Oh my, okay, well, alright. That was tough. Okay. Fun, I suppose. So we did all the bounties for the week. Thank you, okay. It's just you said the female diving team from China. And I was wondering whether you meant that they were all just... Collectively. Okay, well... Thank you, and we need a little bit more. Thank you. Alright. Thanks. Let's go and heal up real quickly and then take out the remaining requests, and then it would be time for Imaginarium Theater, then. I suppose. Hmm. First, I should probably put. Ooh. Put Fab back on Zhongli. What, what face? What kind of face? Hmm. Let's keep on moving. Go over here. Frazia. And this reputation. We can collect our rewards. Okay. Cool. Milk, raw meat, and that's an unlucky distance. Take these guys out. Oh, okay. What country? That is interesting. Huh. Were they afraid? So actually we could drop a rock on them. Okay. That... Is decent. Oh, but how does that not hit? I'm surprised it only hit one of them. Well, okay. Cool, and just... More or less, well, I can't exactly see it right now. This may come as a surprise to you. There we go, okay. Fun. Raw meat and... Oh, you can see that bullet just spiraling around. Hmm... So, raw meat and... Raw meat in here. That surprises me about Australians. I wouldn't have expected them to be as... And the dog is getting hit by the projectile, auto-targeted. That's sad. Wasn't even trying to hurt the dog. And down over here. I didn't mean to open that. Okay, let's go in. 
some of this. How then we got you over here, Harbor Security. Woof woof, and oh no no, oh, talk to him, we can't give it right to the dog. Okay, raw meat. On the way here, and raw meat is ready. And the last request is going to be... Nice this time. Oh, okay. She, uh, maybe she thought it was contagious. She was afraid of getting propagandized. See one going over here and Oh, okay. So you have lesbian roommates because you want to cannibalize them eventually. Okay. Spar has been selected. Hmm. A thousand and hmm. So I could get to a little under 38 by the end of this week. Okay. Resin, resin. Right, but the wish is that'll take me a little bit farther, presumably. Those are all wishes on the standard banner. And go over and in now. Oh yeah, that guy. I saw that. And he had his hand in his pocket. So a lot of people found it amusing. That star in there. It's a bit like the Mona star. And here's our new fortune slip for the season. Thank you, Barbara Cat. That. The mellifluous sound of the lyre in the sweet dawn dreams. Bar my love's homeward steps, it seems. Dandelion, dandelion, dandelion bear my song to her ears for the sun. This evening breeze she here might deform my yearn for yet return. Form, oh, person. Breeze upon the lake, song of spring and a rose. Circumstances may not match your expectations, and them also with new opportunities. Once you hold hope for the future in your heart, joyful. Days shall come again right on schedule. Spring and rose. Well. The question is, I'll be able to get another key this time around. But I can't do Kirara, because she's not at level 90 and not at friendship 10, but... Oh, actually... Oh, in order, maybe I'll wait. It's not like any of these characters or ones I really use. Honestly, Kirara is probably the one I'll use most in the coming days. Because I gotta level her and keep her for commissions anyway. Oh, right, it's friendship 8, not 9. Okay. Slip of Dawn Phase 1. Can't do that yet. Not enough keys. Okay. That's gonna be... Seven or so months after this to get all the starting ones unlocked. Presumably by then they'll have more. So what emotes, poses do we have this time around? Lesbian tricks. Follow me. Onto the stage. So who's doing this rotation? Oh, past seasons. New tricks for this season. Oh, okay. Get three more, and they're introducing them at a staggered rate. So he's got a coin. That's fun. Once where they're holding things. Uh, oh, she's holding it and die. That's fun. Hmm. Or what I could do is just catch up at the old ones first. I might actually prefer that. Other way, let's get started. Who then? Hmm. Big thing is, I want to focus on so guest stars perform in the season's show. Purina, Barbara, Ayaka, Tayona, Zhao, and Farzan. Hmm. Let's see briefly what all of them have equipped. You've got Deathmatch. Farzan has Fab Bow as usual. Should. Yep. And. Diana should have Sack Bow. Never comes off her. Yep. And then we can see who else is here. Furina has that. And. We don't have Ayaka, so. 
That's what would be right, Barbie. And that mm, we can put on Proto Amber. That's decent. Okay. Proof fulfillment will not do anything for her. Or preview this time around, we can get more of this, and it just keeps giving Fontaine materials. I wonder if it'll change to not long next time, but also just getting more artifact mats is also rather nice. Hmm. I, I'll be saving that for not long stuff, but there is a part of me that the main thing is once I catch up with once I've got set pieces farmed for Ayato and Tartaglia, the only thing left really might be... Let's check Husk. Well, actually, we... Oh, that's not leveled. You know? Let's just do that, then. May as well. And no, it's... It's one of those. Cool. Fun and, well, that... All right. You got more geo damage bonus at least. Yeah, so what I want to see is if husk pieces. If I've got a set I could use on Ito eventually. Hmm. Husk of opulent dreams. And Ito's ascension stat is Ito. You're in founder and he gets crit rate. Upon ascension, so I would only ever be running him with Goro. A serpent spawn, which I'd want to run him with too, that'd be about 50% at base. Question is. Hmm. Honestly, I prefer consistency. So I'd probably want to give him more crit rate anyway, especially since I might not always be able to give him spine. And that's got lots of defense on that, actually, so that could be good. Geo damage. Well, should actually block that. Yeah, the pieces for El Beta right now aren't blocked. Hmm. It, it's not as if I'll ever throw away level 20 pieces. Well, well, just feels better to block them. Yeah. So what about Sans? He wants a defense. Is anything defense a decent crit? I... not really on here. What would be funny? Well, this actually in damage is... and that's got crit rate on it. Hmm. I would probably be best off going with this damage circlet anyway. It... What was... It was... Komatsu Mikako, who voices Mavuka. Well, it's not even Murata, it's Mavuika. And Murata is a mistranslation entirely, as you know. But that she posted something to her Twitter, which she ended up removing shortly after posting it, saying, I'm so glad to play the Pyro Archon in Genshin Impact. And a lot of people think that that was, it's something she had to remove because it was spoilery or possibly misleading for her to say that she would be the Pyro Archon. So people, people have thoughts on the topic. All right, let's keep on moving. We can actually start this now, which excites me on a deep and personal level. Let's do theater, and we want to go for the sort of funny gambling effects this time. Performance prep. All right. Eat combat performances to end the show, and three, eight, three, six, eight. Mm -hmm. Changes well. 18 characters of 1270, one supporting cast. Okay. Well, it it is what it is. That's their personal business. Proto Amber and Flo Sandre, and it's basically what I've got. Amanoma and 80. 
Sacrificial Bow and Maiden as opposed to Noblesse, but Deathmatch and Vermilion. Fav War Bow and... Instead of Tenacity... Instead of Tenacity... They have two-piece Gladiator and two-piece VV. And it... Farzan being in here two times in a row is kind of crazy. Though to be fair, there are three Animo four stars, period. It's just Farzan, Sucrose, and Sayu. For a while, Sucrose is the only Animo four star. Okay. We don't need equipment configuration. Special guest stars, but... Ah, Emily's on there, but we can't use her yet. Let's do some equipment configuration. Main thing is, Dia actually... I gotta give her the set that's currently on Jongly. Hmm. So you want to have the catch. And Raiden can't even be here right now, so... I'll just give that to you. I have great sword, but what you want is... Jongly's tenacity set. See where I can find that, but gladiators, which means the rest is going to be tenacity. Which is originally the set that she had, but who's counting? So in other words, Zhongli sometimes uses the shield bot set I made for D. Uh, I actually level this in the hopes of fully clearing that super boss event last couple patches ago, but do not end up being, do not end up materializing. Sadly. I got the chicken on the hardest difficulty though. This should be good. I do not have any interest in using supporting cast. I should figure out who wants to. Well, Bennett cannot come in. Main thing is, I've got Cryo and Hydro in here. Question is who would be best at taking down the seahorse? Horses, elemental reactions, pirate lines, rune drake, and Xing Chao and Yeon have to go in here. That cannot go without and Nuviat for sure. Who else? I Gan Yu. Could be good against the Drake. So would Yeon, but... Hmm. Scar's a bruiser. How many we need? Four more characters. So Kaz is good. I could see Jean being somewhat useful. It's just about the characters who are actually somewhat decently built. And you're okay. Well, she can make anyone work. Kinda... This should be fine. Thesley should have... Yeah, bow it on him. Okay, cool. Fine by me. And whenever I... Should do this. The sooner we get everyone, the better. Ganyu's a better choice. Okay, okay, Mamorimas. Protect you. Okay, so who would be best to fight with what I have? Easily grouped. We don't have any groupers in here right now. So reactions and vaporize reactions. I... that would work decently with Furina. Hmm. Let me think. Probably normal using charged attacks, but nobody here uses charged attacks for much. Use this one. Treacherous Thunder to send and strike your characters, so... To lock in. We've locked in. Okay. Everything starts like this, how pretty. And then... Trial Ayaka is going to suck, so... Let's just use her now. Well, actually, she has that bonus, but... Mm. So saving... Characters with the bonus could help. I still have an extra strong Fiorina. Alright. No Emily though. It is what it is. Alright, De designated number of opponents. And cannot oh my goodness. Thank you, and did that hit nobody. You've got to be kidding. And 
Let's just do it like this and time limit and school and oh my goodness, can I? And I can't believe we didn't get a single vaporizer action. Well, all right, cool, I guess. Come on and got a decent number now and just like that we come on and can I? Mm. Was anyone hit? And well, all right, can I? Mm. Try like this, okay? Do that and can I hit and did that hit anybody? I that clearly did not hit anyone. All right, and go for this and that went in the exact wrong direction. Thank you. Okay, one, two, three, four, and I guess we can just keep Ayaking it up. Thank you, Ayaka. Got the reactions we needed, so goofy Ayaka, goofy Ayaka. Thank you. Take that and blast and there we go. Cool. Makes wish I actually had an Ayaka to use. Oh well. And that Zhongling will be a lot more valuable than Fremen. Sorry, buddy. Hello, Fiolina. Uh, so what did we domain challenge? Maybe. Yeah, domain challenge. Fun. Investigate. And paint. Oh no, that's the words. Ink bottle. Okay. Fiorina. Woeful. Short pomp and circumstance rare. Short break. Blood sugar. Best condition. Best condition. And Barbara. For examination, scratch. Must ignore it. Won't take up too much time. And then it's Diona and Ayaka. Diona. Tends to put her feet up. Water with salt and nectar. A great recovery drink. Basically, with Gatorade. Can't believe Diona invented Gatorade. I kind of can, actually. Thoughtful, progressing spot afterwards. We're training tough. I haven't reached my limit. Nice that you care so much. Okay, cool. Let's keep on going. Continue the performance and mystery cash. One of two. We'll take that. Well, mm, but we don't really use boons. I should have taken the rerolls. Maybe. I. Hmm. So we get companions, the better. And that's a better option. Free mystery cast from selection. Hmm, reset one time. Take that. Okay. Got battle and opiate assault. Crackling cage, thunder, and range has an advantage using charge attacks. And that suggests to me this would be a good opportunity to try on you here. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I could put in Ganyu along with Diona, maybe. Ganyu and... Hmm. Maybe I could, just because... Don't predict I'll get much use out of her. And then... Barbara, sure. Okay, cool. Well, alright. And just like this, we... We do the downpour and cool and actually over for that and blast and take you out cool thanks. Well, it without grouping this is a little less than ideal. Oh wait, does oh that's right. She doesn't have any artifacts on her. Wow. Okay. I forgot to equip that on her because Kai has got her artifacts right now. Oh right. Right, okay. Well, we got one with charge attacks. This is going to be more interesting than I expected then, and not in a good way. And, hmm. Time limit ends. Hmm. I actually probably have to try this one again. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. This may have been very, very stupid of me. Yeah, I have to. I'll have to kill this one. That was really stupid. Okay. Okay. I... And this is why I need to have... Artifacts on everybody, because... 
having to switch them out. And you know, the more I have to switch out, the easier it is to forget. And figured, yeah, I've definitely got everyone, but I didn't because it's just that many. It, it's really just for Ayaka, Rosari, and Kai that I need Blizzard pieces. I have a lot of Blizzard pieces, honestly, just waiting for them, which is why I was able to throw a lot away. It's just, I don't need that many. Let's try this again with the actual stuff I've got on you. It, I kind of wish they would have an alert if they had a more of a weapon or no artifacts. Okay, and just run this as before. <sighs> All right. Let's select Hydro and we'll go with him. And another one to select, and that external support. Thank you, Arlequino. He is a little bit better. So which one and where? Swirl reactions, that's not a great option for me. Little normal charge attacks, that... It feels like it might be a waste to use. One of these guys this soon. Okay, well... Using Nuviant this soon, it feels like a bit of a waste, but... So I won't, I'll just... Figure out how to make Ayaka work here. Mm -hmm. Furin is good though. But Xing Chao is a lot more splashable. Without healing, it's harder to make Furin work. We scuffed Imaginarium Theater Run. In that case, let's go for this. And. So someone needs to get defeated using a charge attack. Not envying that situation. And thanks and take you out. Ta-da! And can I? Mm. Cool, cool, and just cool and take out and there we go. We got one of them with a charge attack successfully. Cool and there we are. Cool. Okay. That means we got more of you. And always want that star. Always want that bonus. So. Thank you, and alright, and somehow that did not connect. And just freeze and continue slashing through, and this should be good. Blunder, Ayaka Blunder. And there you have it. And it wasn't even a particularly good Ayaka build. And let's take Wanderer. Wanderer and Rathesley, which is funny because a lot of people compare Rathesley to basically cry a Wanderer. At home. And full of monsters, then when you personally make an appearance, read a report, a little tough, not feeling out the fighting. You're afraid of them, a duo shall indulge you. So do they have anything new to say, or don't like when people around to get hurt, say to see them in pain, but you have pray support from batching up the injured. Some other keep those spirits up. It is nice that they have new dialogue for everybody here. Pen. Betraying dragon, defeated by princess. Mm -hmm. Some mixologies, fairy tales. Drag with alcohol, baloney. Somehow it, I feel like that might end up happening then. What do you have to say? It's that house. Mikaku no monogatari mahon. Storybooks from other countries. What is it? And finish them, printing and illustrations, read some stories, and if you want, some details to share. I did see that. I didn't want to mention anything because it would give you permission. And two chances, no more alternate. Mm, two chances, okay. Battle, battle. Numa aligned have an advantage. Hmm, using bursts. That is actually decent for Ayaka, but. Yeah, we could try Ayaka again. Just run that. Same team as before. That's fine. Let's go over here and put in the same team as before. Sure. Get rid of all these individuals. Okay. Cut this out and put myself in a position where it will actually shred through them and make sure the grouping is somewhat decent. And just like this. And now we go over and. Take you out. Thank you, and burst defeated. No, it was, it just came up on my feet. It just came up on my feet. 
And there we go. Well, yeah. Thank you. Take it out and... Well, it's not there yet, so can I? And use the burst. Thank you. And keep charge attacking and... Can I? There we go. Cool. Easy enough. Okay. Well, this run should be over. Let's, yeah, let's, let's actually take Gonyu. Thank you. Continue performance. And how many mystery caches do I actually need? With eight mystery cache events. Okay. Continue the performance. Okay, cool. Companion random. That. Let's go with Rathesley. Poor oh dear. Select and to Animo. Take Kaza. Kodeyosh. So if it's five more, how many do I need to get? There are. Alternate is. So one more of the companions will allow me to get all the rest by just clearing more. Attempting to reconstruct a Xenomar Pearl. Okay. Hmm. Oh, but we don't have any fire in here, but... Ganyu should actually work well here. Presumably. Hmm. Let me think. All the ice is melted. Hmm. Hmm. Elemental effects advantage. To reconstruct a Xenomar Pearl. I just require residence then and maybe for Animo 2. This is going to be interesting, I'll say. And okay, nice and Tortoise Punch. Okay, cool. And can I Oh I do not quite like that. And mm, how well can I? Actually, break the. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, right. We have no healing here. That's part of the problem. And go fish and can I... Well, okay. Let's try that again. Poor Ganyu. Feel bad for. Her. And just like this. Cool. And punch, punch it. Can I scroll there? Or nice, scroll that off. There we go. We actually got. That's ruled successfully! Nice! Okay, and... Punch, and move in for... Multiple punches, and... Full punch. Punch, punch. Thanks, and, Okay, oh my goodness, okay. Come on, you. Please. Here we got that, so... Over here, punch, and... Punch, and there we have it. We can... Swirl some of this, but... Oh, well, alright. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and scroll that, cool, and well, oh, you've got to be kidding. Come on. Come on, okay. Let's scroll off the ground, and that is really, really annoying. Come on, come on. Oh, please, you have to be kidding me. Keep on shooting, and normal shots. Mm -hmm. This may not be the best situation here. I'm going to attempt to reconstruct, which is... Very bad for me, and can I... Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. I, I get the feeling that some other kind of team might have worked better here. Mm -hmm. But it's not a lot of synergy. I just may be new Viet just to punch things down, because... Ganyu's own personal damage actually is not really hacking it here, sadly. Okay, cool. And swirl. Thanks, and can I... There we go. We got that going. Thank you, and punch. Thanks, and move in, move in, and scroll. Two, three, four, and swing, and well, I guess not hit. And that hit the pro, and I would have wanted it to, so... All right, cool. Punch, 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 and oh my, okay. Oh my goodness. So just like that, we can 
Throw that and put that down. Throw you and can I? There we go. Cool. And Thanks. Take that down and mm, continue shooting at you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how do I? Yes. And well, not like that. I damn, damn you. Okay. I ah, I messed that up. Did it during that animation? But if I I knew we had to switch to wander incorrectly. This is annoying. Okay. So, punch and scroll of Gaza, and there we go. Cool. Thank you. Thank you again. And punch that down. Alright. Cool. Punch in and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I dodge it? Mm -hmm. Continue hitting. And, well, I could actually just spam. Spam. There we go, actually. That was very, very useful. So, we can scroll that and go over before hitting with the burst. Okay, cool. And there we can actually do that. And just new Viet. Thank you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when are you going to try reconstructing? And we did it. It took a little bit of precise timing, but it worked. Cool. Who do we want? Honestly, I might actually take Tia. And next would be... Hmm. Defense sequence. Companion random. Okay. Two random characters. And... Oh, thank you for the flowers. You would be nice to have. Hmm. Now it's just about... The mystery events. No less than 15%. And bows have an advantage. And... In that case, honestly, we will... Could use Ganyu. Could actually get some decent Ganyu mileage here. Maybe, hopefully. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ganyu, honestly, Rathesley. And then who else? Maybe just this for attack. Could see that working, but... Mm, but uh, it's tough. Zhao won't do that much, so... Alright, nobody has all that much here, but... I'll live, I suppose, so... Cool, and can I... Mm, hitting that, and... Shoot again, thank you. Cool. This main GPS gone, you. Alright, and... Another shot, and... There we go, try that again. And just continue shooting the eye. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, and shoot, shoot again. It is cool how I have this advantage day for a lot of things. This thing's more interesting. Power. Wizard, Strayer, and there we are, cool. And take that down, cool, and shoot, critical again, continue trying to hit the head, we're guaranteed to crit maybe, hopefully, for the first part of the attack at least, and there we go, it's just ruin guards, oops, all ruin guards, and cannot hit, hit again, and there we go, cool, keep on shooting, and wow, our funny little crowd damage bonus for seeing the area is gone, but that was very nice. Oh, well, right, we have to. I forgot! It doesn't automatically end, that's just a bonus for the amount of enemies we defeated. Okay. Shoot again. Shoot again. Keep on firing. And all this. Deplete some of the time, I think it should, and yep, exactly. Deplete some of the time early by killing enemies. Next would be, let's... He could take you. Especially since... Physical plungers would actually work decently with Fremine when I do get him. Three cash, and... Fewer flowers with 50% HP. Huh. I... 
let's take that, actually. Ah, welcome back, Fiorina. Hmm. We refresh and another free mystery cash. We set one time, no more will join. Take that, and more mystery caches, the better. Hmm. Okay. Battle normal, and did not drop below 30%. That is kind of worrying. Oh, but John Yoon's healing. Hmm, okay. That's an interesting idea. Characters who heal have an advantage. Effects with 50% HP, because we have that there. To lock in. Let's lock in. Okay, so we got begin performance, and if it's plunges, well... If it's plunges, there's really only one option, but that should help with a bit of resilience. This should be decent. Okay, cool. Alright, thank you, and... Alright, thank you, and... Heal and just heal you like that. Thank you. Thank you. This should be good. And we just gotta defeat a certain amount of enemies in a given time, which means one of the rest, you're over there. Okay, cool. And continue hitting and can I just keep on plunging until it won't let me plunge anymore. And there we have it. Take you down it. Can I Okay, cool. Thank you, just like that, and Swirl, thanks. Alright, and one, two, and well, we some energy issues there, but nothing we can't deal with. Thank you, thank you, and well, we should try to collide, but mm, takes a bit of effort, so I thank you, and alright, Sage may be ended early, that's for quitters. So now what we should do is probably come on, come on, now just like that, and Thank you, and swirl, and we got that in there, and now we can get the final use of Zhao's burst we need to take this out, and there we go, cool. And we got the star, which means we can end this. Cool. And let's actually take Nahida. Yeah. Okay. Continue the performance, and... Hmm. I think it's one more random companion we need. Let's see, alternate cast. It's... we'll take one. Cool. Let's actually take from an A. Wondrous Boon, Climactic Showdown. Interrupt the Searing Coronation in 75 seconds. I... oh, but I don't have Yelon. Interesting. Funny seeing it in this arena of all places. But I... Hmm. Hmm. Honest to goodness. There's no healing, though. I... Something like Burgeon. It's gonna be my Burgeon trigger. I guess we could let Dian jongling manage this. Okay. Cool. Alright, and... Now I can break the shield. Alright, because we have five sword and... No, you have... Oh, I'm a Noma, that's right. I may be stupid. Okay, cool. I guess. Hmm, okay. Oh, but right, you can regain a lot of energy this way, and that's good. Hmm, mm hmm. So, alright, cool. Cool then. Hmm, so, figure out when that Searing Coronation is going to happen. Alright, go ahead, do your thing, and. Can I Thank you, and. Just like that, and. Thank you, there we go. Cool, and. Blast that down, put this down, and can I heal? There we go, cool, and just... Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, and... Alright, just gotta try to version you down as quickly as possible. Thank you, and just like that, we... Like this, and can I... Thanks, I, this is gonna come down to the absolute wire. Okay, cool, and just... Can get stuff back, or... Mm, this is actually rather painful. And, mm -hmm. it, mm, okay. I, it would have been good to have Nubia here. Yeah, okay. Let's restore that. It's not as if I really need Nubia anywhere else, so. Okay. Hmm. 
Go with the Searing Coronation. Hmm. Twice a deer. We'll take you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And just like that. Thanks. Alright. And just... And... But it the limits of bringing this down or evident here. So we just do it like this then, I suppose. And thanks. Continue blasting. It's got to interrupt the coordination then, so. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when are we going to get that back then? To interrupt the coronation. And, alright, cool. Thank you, and, mm, is having some energy problems here, so. Mm. Alright, so hitting the top reliably is another conundrum, so. Just have to interrupt its coronation, and it's. When are you gonna do that then? I think we might have some time problems. Come on, use your special attack, and can I... Mmm, we have to wait. Yeah, if it... If we break its shield, in any real sense, beforehand, it will not use the coronation. That sucks. Alright, and... Like this, and use this to get things done quickly, and... Break it all down, okay. Hmm. Oh, alright. Thanks. Keep on hitting. We'll use this to break the shield. And now we continue hitting, and how much more? How much more? We. Mm, okay. So then, let's go down. We'll handle things that way. Mm, burning, but it's not defeating its aura in any meaningful sense. Let's use your serum coronation, and there we go. Okay, cool. Nice. And just like that, we can put them down. And use this. Cool. Alright, and continue. Blasting with Nubia. Easy enough, easy enough, and decent version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, and. Killed it while it was in the ground. Fun. It. It's not hard, but it's a fun puzzle. So, what is left? What is left? We need continue the performance. That companion selection. Uh, no, we need to wait. Elite assault. How many of the? It's hard to get in the mystery caches. Is the thing. It's unpredictable fame for end. We eight wondrous boom. I mean. Wait, there's eight mystery caches, I think, to be same. Yeah, eight mystery caches. How many have we had? We've had three, okay. Hmm. We just saw it always go for the biggest swirl of reactions. Hmm. It, but we can't use Zhao right now. Here's the question of who I'm supposed to run. And it, I guess I could try Ganyu. Maybe. It's actually kind of complicated. I don't have anyone who I can just bring back. Actually, actually, mm, I can try it. I can try it. I think Ganyu will be decent here. Yeah, we'd go with Fremenea, actually. This kind of weird, goofy plunge team. And maybe try getting some sort of weird elemental swirl in here. I don't know. Hmm. What reaction would be any good here? I guess we could go for burning to try to make some of this work, but it so fundamentally silly of it as a team build. Alright, and just get down here. And we can... Thank you, and... Oh, I did not mean to do that, but whatever. Okay, cool, and just... Cool, cool, and burn. 
Thank you, and take that down. Then can I? Thank you. Let's keep on getting these physical plunges, honestly. This is actually pretty okay. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's serviceable, and now I can, well, I suppose make some of that work. And one, two, three, and mm, one, two, three. Well, I, I could have made that work. Could have made that work, but it was exceptionally scuffed. But I could make it work. Okay. Well, all right. We should actually put this on as early as possible. And let's go like that. And cool. And one, two, three. Swirl. And okay. Who did I? I don't think I hit anyone in any meaningful sense. Come on. Why are you not here? That's kind of ridiculous. And you weren't hit by the dendro? That's even weirder. Okay. It must have been a range issue. And this one is legitimately kind of torture. Okay. So, just like that. And can I? Over there and take this. Go on, getting close. I kinda. Kinda beg of you. And. Well, I. There we go. There we finally go. All of them are in the area now. But. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And just like that, we. Thanks, and one, two, three, one, slash, one, two. What, what in the god hand? Okay. This just actually does not make sense. Hmm. Okay. It's the last one before the final one where I try to get as many mystery caches as possible. So. Huh, okay. Well, actually, the big thing is should actually wait for them to get in the middle over here, if at all possible, so. Thank you, and... BB! Thank you, and... It's like that, and... But we just don't have a good way to group anybody is the thing. And I... Mm, come on, come on, and just... Slash, and... One, two, three, one, one... One, two, three, and one. One, two, three. Okay, cool. And just put that down. Make sure I don't get shielded by anybody. And then we are doing okay on time, actually. This is nice. And just can I... Mm, so who is where and... Uh, how are we going to actually group you up with any level? Reliability is the thing. I... Mm, not good healing, but it's just... Okay, cool, and... One, two, three, and one. One, one, two, three, and one. I guess maybe I have to go to the bow guy, but it... Huh. This is really, really weird and really, really scuffed. I... I could try putting it in... How is this somewhere for grouping, but... Jean Yoon isn't doing much in that case. Honestly, yeah, we'll put in Kaze instead and just use a normal Fremenet configuration. This is... rather strange. <laughs> I like it. So, just like that, we can... swirl you in here, and... Let's go in, get in close, and... Roll that and can we take that down? And thank you and just like that we thanks one two three and thanks one two three one one two three all right and can I thanks and one two three okay cool mm, but lack of healing though is might be a meaningful issue maybe. It's a possibility. Luckily, these guys get knocked around like nobody's business, so. Come on, we. Just like that, and cool. And oh my. Okay, one, two. Well, you're dead now, so. I guess all I can do is continue burning them, and can I. There we go. More burn melt. More burn swirl, and. Now this is. Simple enough. Now that. Kazu really is just that good. 
And you actually burn to death. Fun. Okay. It's performance, and we got Furina, so... There we have it. This is how we gotta finish off the last one. Wondrous Boon. No more companion events will appear. One of three, and... Receiving healing, okay. Come on, give me, give me mystery caches. One of three. Well, mm -mm. audience support and mystery cash rare. Okay, cool. Reset one random. We'll take the Fantasia flowers actually. Confirm, and we need four more. Mm hmm. My spirits of vigor and swirl shockwave and. Hmm. Okay. Give me mystery caches. Begging you. Need three more. Scroll reaction. Okay. Why is it so hard to get mystery caches in this game? Scroll reaction. Okay. And it. Really? I guess I have to not buy companions? That's really weird. Healing off field characters. Okay. It, I get the impression that mystery caches are supposed to be rarer, but it this is actually obnoxious. Hydro damage, total shock wave, whatever. And I, why is it so hard to get that one? Huh. Okay. It's just beyond me. Are they rarer? I guess they're just rarer. That's really stupid. And why we got Ganyu. We have Ganyu. Okay. Well, it... Okay. How do I want to do this? I've got... I cannot proc freeze on this enemy. Actually... You know... Silly as it sounds... Farazan Wanderer. Farazan Yeon Shingcha Wanderer. Yeah, okay. Farazan Shingcha Wanderer Yeon, okay. Both have an advantage, you think. You think. Okay. Go ahead, fly. And, alright. Another, and there we go, cool. Thank you, and just like that, and now we. Take this out, and you, you're over there, and we got already, which means we can continue just shooting, and that did hit me, but should be okay. It's out of the way of you, and oh, Electro Charge, okay, cool, I guess. Thank you, and when are you going to try to buff back up? Okay, and just take that, and there we go, and this is... Easy enough, cool, and now we're going to go up in the sky, well, too late, and that's all. That mystery cache one is awful to get. I guess I have to avoid getting companions, avoid spending on companions. That's so weird. But at the very least, I did... Win pretty handily, and of course Nuviet dealt the highest damage. Right, Zhao in that. Rift had one. Nahida. Well, because I guess the rest of generally had shields, and also she had burning to deal with. From an death was a little inconvenient. Total characters appearing. We have the performance of the fastest. Huh. Oh, well, because that one was easy street. Really won. Hmm. Wouldn't cast none. No help accepted. Fantasia flowers used. Cast list. Inadona, Barbara, Kamisato, Ayaka. Barbara, Kamisato, Ayaka again. We got 
Even after getting Fiorina back, we didn't use her. Prefer, superb, preferb. Next one, hard mode, and current record, act eight. We got all the badges and all the flowers. Fun. Cool. Collect our reward. And just claim rewards, and there we go. Cool. Three toy medals and a lot of artifact juices. Okay. Hmm. And that's... And they condensed that. That's nice. 620. It's almost four rolls. Almost. More than pearls and gold. How much for the rest? Six toy medals and next is... Okay, it's just nine toy medals. So I'll be able to get that next cycle of theater this that is weird i wonder how you're supposed to do that but to buy all the thespian tricks from last time it's interesting that they didn't rotate out they just added more okay let's get all these mastered 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 so they're gonna reorder that now or it wasn't precisely in that order before. And yeah, it's split up a little because the ones that we hadn't gotten were for some of the list, but so next season we can get a few more and catch up and then there will be I know we have they had four each time and we should be able to catch up within, let me think, so it was seven this time, next time it'll be five, then three, then one. So in four more cycles or so, so I should, in theory, they had four every time, be able to catch up with the poses granted. This is Echoes, and that's right, we can claim our key. Don't forget, unclaimed keys will not be saved, but... I... Hmm. Hard to decide what to do. Let's just check and... Who did I switch artifacts out on? I... Someone did something different and I'm worried now. Well, Ganyu had her artifacts back, but... Let's check to see what everyone's got. Let's make sure nothing is too out of the ordinary. Hmm. Jean, Rathesley, Ganyo, Chichi, Corinne, Sino, Yai, Shoga, Raiden, Kaching, Baju, Alhaithen, Nihita, Tinari, Sigwin, Fiorina. It. Nothing should be all that different, right? I. Don't envision. Just check who I had on. That should be a way to see. Past performances and alternate cast, so. Who may have had something different? Well, Zhang only had catch, but don't really need to switch that. I don't even really use Raiden that much anymore. Well, Xingqiao having Amanoma is the thing. Because Jean had Fav Sword. It didn't really matter, but yeah, Fav. Xingqiao having Fav would have made things a little bit smoother. Let's put that back on him. We'll take a quick bathroom break then. Yeah. Next thing I would say would be weekly TCG. I'll be right back.
How are you doing? Scott, how was Jenner? What did he get to eat? Either way, we're going to a cat sale now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Send this out, and heated battle mode is on. Interesting. First, we need to do those weekly matches. I think this would be a decent way to spend the rest of the time. Card challenges, it's just Frost Operative, and then Navia, Shavros, and... Hmm. Oh, okay. Only t only tomatoes? Did it always have some seasoning, or was it literally just tomato? I wonder sometimes. This, and concluded, come play cards. How about duel with you? And the deck I'm using is the... Silly Fars on deck. Okay. Okay. Let's make make this work. Hopefully. Oh, that that's very nice. Mm. Oh well this turns out. Well, that that's why I have to ask. Because I agree, it wouldn't be a salad at that point. It would just be tomatoes. Hmm. 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 Oh, okay. Could try swirling, could try using electricity there. That should work too. Oh, but let's use this, actually. Get some gambler usage in here. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Hmm. Got a bit more dice. I switch and hide, which means we can tap down with this. And gambler is up to three times for match. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. In that case, let's actually put this down. Maybe I should have done that before. And then... Put that on you, maybe? Maybe. Okay. See how well this works. Oh, and we got two of those, which means I can use the burst. Pretty adequately. It. It's crazy how hard the Consecrated Beast got nerfed. And it kind of had to be done because they were quite strong, but it feels like a hilarious level of bat pedaling as a result. Ooh, okay. Oh, and then let's actually use that to tune. Use the Burst and a Thunderbore Trap. Oh, cool. Hmm. They're gonna switch and I can swirl. I won't take any damage from that, sadly. Hmm. Well, alright. Oh, and we got a few more of those, but hmm. It's not amazing. So if we use this, we'll. That will kill that one. And switch over to the scorpion to get a little bit from gamblers. Okay. Just smack you. Hopefully get. And a couple more. Oh, but no. Not gamblers yet. Okay. That's... Hmm. Could play the Sealy or... Let's play the Sealy anyway. Big thing is figuring out a way to switch in. Oh, but tenacity instead of gamblers. I did I switch some stuff around. I must have switched some stuff around. I'm losing it. I didn't sleep all that well last night. Okay. 
So then you'll hit me and just, it'll switch and I can use funny. Gotta die. Oh, right. Well, that just killed. Okay. Well, the easiest way to do this would just be to smack the enemy twice. I hope you enjoy getting scorpion struck. Whatever that means in context. You, you would think it might mean, I don't know, tail slap, tail, tail step? Probably. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Out a while, I'm in trouble keeping up. Okay. Ellen. Duel, not a worthy opponent. Genius CCG, and let's go for it. Hmm. There are a great many dudes here, so. Swirling this would be very easy. Okay. See how all this works. Hmm. Oh. So does that mean you can eat them or not? I could actually use this for a free switch. That's the idea. Let's take that. One animal with damage and draw one card. Okay. Hmm. That switches you out, which means use this to switch to Scorpion. And use... Oh, but Thunderbow didn't... Thunderbow doesn't switch you. I may be stupid. Well, that kills. Hmm. Oh, but now that Hydra's on all of them, I can... Maybe make some decent use of some of my options here. Maybe. Yeah, let's just hit. And then I can continue just using electro options the rest of the time. And that three and but we don't have any bone cruncher blocks is the thing. Do you like any Japanese sukemono? I don't particularly care for it, but my mom likes it. She, she ostensibly really likes Takuan. The issue is, is that whenever she gets it, she can never eat it all and it just goes bad. Go for another. What you gonna do? And there we go, and that will damage and switch. Hmm. Okay. It's a, it's a pickled radish. That's really the beginning and end of it. It's an interesting option. Hmm. Go for a kill and then switch out by tuning cards until we can get the final hit. It, it would be if it wasn't so heavily sugared. It's way too sweet for anything other than a dessert. That's my truck with it. Mm. Uh. It's one thing when things are naturally sweet, but when things are unnaturally sweetened, that's when it kind of gets to me. Okay. Yeah. In Japan, when they sell white bread in stores, you know, Western-style white bread, it is almost cake, essentially, because of how sweet it is. Which makes a decent amount of sense in that, you know, the reason they want to, if you're eating foreign food, it's inherently a bit of a special occasion, but still, it's... The concept is a little off-putting to me. Let's play. So we need to duel with him. 
And then that put a single line up. That's just a B. Simple enough. I would say that most things are sickeningly sweet for me. A lot of the time, even even cake will just totally put me out of it. Hmm. Which one? Dendro application. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting then. I'd be interesting to try swirling some of these. Hmm. Well, okay. Put that down. Get the quicken. And then, hmm. And use, oh, no floral brush? Okay. Oh, wow. Hmm. In that case, trash that. Is this again for a bit of bonus damage from the catalyzing duo? What I wonder is how well I can maybe make use of. Hmm. Let me just see. Draw a few more cards in. Oh, we got Bone Cruncher's Energy Blocks. Nice. Hmm. Well. That's going to refresh the aura. Actually, a little annoying. Mm -mm. We... I might just end things here, then. Maybe. Yeah, I'll have to. That's sad. But, catalyzing field will help out things for me. Oh, but right, that's not... I've got advantage. Got first move. Okay. Oh, the Mona. Huh. Okay. So I'll be able to use my final part of this catalyzing field. And do a nice big hit. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can use... I can use the attack. Okay, good. In that case, let's go for that. Big hit. Good damage, and we got our catalyzing field back. Fun. Mmm, and a bloom. And that, more damage through. My question then is... We switch over. Let's switch over and immediately put that through. I wonder if this swirl will deal... Swirl will not deal any extra damage, it seems. Hmm, well, alright. It could be worse. Actually, let's play that just to see what it might get in the end. Hmm. I... Aww. Let's put that down and... Go for the swirl right now. Should be decent. If you do anything more, you'll get hit again, so... Go ahead, Mona. Use an attack and die. Come on. Not exactly, and that's... It's so Mona over. But it is interesting that... The Catalyzing Field cannot trigger... Any kind of... Reaction on its own. Hmm... Well, putting this on you would be decent. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I could play that without having a card to draw. <laughs> okay. Well. Go for it. One last nice little hit. So well, that works for me. <laughs> Animo. Electro. That's all that'll be good for us, and that was nearly perfect. Fun. Hmm. Four. 
And what's next? You got what you're gonna do. Mm. A death was fine with me. So you got your gamblers, but it's all good with you. Hmm. That. Hmm. Hmm. Other two discard, but it does worry me a little. I don't have any cards after this, so. Hmm. You can try this. Not like I'll lose. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Drawn, which means that would deal four, but we need a bit more to make that work. All right, and we can use these to convert. What would happen if I wouldn't have had anything to play while I? Oh, I may be stupid. Yeah, exactly. I got rid of the Bone Crunchers energy block cards, so the doubling is gone. Complete idiot moment. Okay. Hmm. -hmm. Maybe. You can afford to leave some of the benefit of the doubt here. Alright, Farzan. Bring it home. Alright. Me when I switch into catching from catching. Okay. Cool. Common is on dub. Hmm. Hello. She's a very informal way of speaking. Said so, Hito ga takusa. Not Takusan. She's just not really quote unquote proper. Hmm. So a virgin team is here. Interesting. Hmm. Let's continue on our merry way. Try to get some elements started swirling. Usually a good way to start the match with this goofy deck. It's good for me. Hmm. Question is switching. Okay. Go for a hit. Where are you going next? Going to... Hmm. You can do some interesting mind games of this in theory, but well, in theory. Not down. And then, hmm, I probably prefer to actually put some of these down. Hope for something a bit more convenient next time. And we'll eat. We'll eat some hits. Hmm. Go ahead. Took a little bit of damage from that. Luckily, it's not going to overload to do any disruption. So. Mmm. Mmm. And they have bonus card draw. As one does. Hmm. Keep on going. I need electro dice. And mm, mm, today is not my day. Let's get a little bit more. Mm. Much to think about. Uh, let's put this down. Mm. The energy blocks are actually quite nice to have. So... Let's put this on you. Hmm. Go ahead. 
And mmm, that is honestly a bit annoying, so I'm going to need to wait to put that on. Sad. Well, alright. Hmm. Break that, and how does that deal damage? Oh, because it absorb that damage, right. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Use that. Okay. So spreading around to keep some swirls going is going to be a pretty nice tactic if I can make it work. But if, if. And NPC Kirara plays a lot of cards. That is kind of surprising to me. Come on then. Come on then. Hmm. Oh, I actually got the burn in the land. I didn't even think about that. Hmm. If I... Do a swirl to get a nice little bit on Pokemon, I suppose. I can switch it over and put a stamp on the Scorpion, I think. Should be fine. Right, let's draw one card. Mm. Right, that does suck to draw. What you gonna do? What are you doing next? Mm. That's nothing all that special. No. Mm. It. It's a bit hard to get the blocks needed for these monsters to function now. Oh, and more burning. Oh, wow, big damage. Yeah, four da- wow. I did not even think about that. Let's go ahead and use this. And then we got no damage, but traps on. Hmm. That Thunderbolt trap two to the team's active character. I might not have any of those, but I. Well. Hmm. Waiting till the start of next round could be good. This would deal. Well, that wouldn't even kill. Hmm. Let me think. It's always a good option. It's a decent option and... Hmm. Oh, right, because it comes after you play cards. Well, that will kill this guy. It's not good. Dying mid-round, kind of kind of crazy. Hmm. Who do I... Honestly, we could put... We could let Farz on try to carry some of this. You gonna attack or switch or just gonna stay in on Dia? Fair enough. Is that free? I can't imagine that would be free. Mmm, but that won't do anything for Dia because she's not on standby. Hmm. Well, mmm. I can only presume D is going to use her burst. It's not good news for me. Hmm. Well, I... Yes. I, I, I can very much believe that. Bigotry is one of the most commonplace things in the world. There we go, no more Dia. Didn't even use her burst. The biggest example is that of the Cogotes in France, who people literally don't even know why they were discriminated against. It's the origin is that that vague. Okay. 
Hmm. Oh, and good job triggering Electro Charge on yourself. I didn't think that would do damage, though. Okay. Hmm. How do I make this work? Could use that burst, but I should try to use that. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Not expect the burning. So then. Guess we'll take that. Sure. Oh, but. Will I be able to actually use. Any of it? Oh, and we got some of that because it. Right, I didn't even remember that I had the treasure seeking ceiling. But instead, it was referring to people who liked going to Chipotle. No, that would be burrito. And yeah, just more far as I. It's honestly kind of impressive how much damage that seal just deals straight. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. use her tails and gameplay all right let's go to the card shops commodities get okay frost operative skin cool sword actually looks rather keen like didn't even really notice that okay mimic skins and end of the line forest regalia Again, now that I use those, but they're there, they're there. Mm -hmm. Added a bit more equipment than support cards. Hmm. Okay. We got a few more. Provide some characters. We got enough invitations to do that, too. Save them up, pick them up. Oh, okay. Well, it! Brain training, help the patrol members as long as they don't get way of work. Road to reaction, sure could easily obtain bus for doing so. Mmm, okay. Okay. Let's do it. Accept your invitation to do 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 do. Prepared for a fight. Alright, I'm, I'm excited to use a. Jack, that is not this stupid garbage. Hmm. I think that. Very, very cool card. Just looks a little silly. <laughs> Hard to take. That's seriously, honestly, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Hmm. Let's just see how much we get of other. Mm hmm. Well, all right. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'll just use one singular smack on him, and yeah, there we go. Cool. And that's my first string. Oh, right, that's it. And she. There's some grenades, explosive shells, force coordination, and overcharged ball when it's discarded or used. Mm -mm. Using that with discards is interesting because there isn't a lot of obvious synergy between characters who use. Between a team that would allow you to really reliably trigger overload and teams that have a lot of discard related effects. That's the thing. Hmm. Just taking damage for free from that Winnet card, which is a very fun concept. Undoubtedly. Hmm. Let's keep on going and. Maybe try to get a swirl on. Well, 
That will work well for such a strategy. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right, because that was Shinobu. I may be stupid. But I... The damage is good, though. I can accept that, even if I don't get straw off. I was not paying attention. Mm hmm. Go over here and. Pizza. Pizza. Hmm. In that case, we could actually take out Sheena, but right here. Use that die and get a nice snack. I think I will. And convert these to. Oh, I'm gonna use with Electro and. There we go, no more Shinobu. Oops. Mmm. Right, because of the switch. Oh, and she got the Overload Ball. Interesting. Opponent's character takes Overload Reaction Damage. Okay. What are you gonna do? What's next for you? Hmm. Are they gonna switch to Chevros or? I wonder if Chevros needs to be on the field to actually use that overcharged ball. I'm not sure. I wouldn't think actually. But the ability to reliably disrupt is very interesting. Hmm. Bolts of downfall and normal attack. Oh, all right. Oh, but now I've got this going. That's fun. And I suppose I'll just let you handle this. Hmm. Bit of healing, so then... Well, alright. We got a good thing going. Hmm. So what then? Opponent's turn and... Could use this, but I need to get more blocks saved up, honestly. We can just hit again then. Okay. Hmm. That should come next round and we can use some more options then. Let's see who comes in next. This is... The Shinobu snipe was amusingly fast, but the rest of this match is going a little bit slower. Alright. Hmm. Some of this, that's a re-roll. Hmm. So how are you gonna handle this? Gonna switch to somebody a node or what? Hmm. Bolts a downfall, okay. Hmm. I do wonder how I should go about this. Actually, I... One Bone Cruncher's energy block, and I could use... This to... Draw a couple of those immediately, which is fun. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to kill, but... Be able to do some decent damage. Yeah, so... Go ahead and check this out. First... Spread us to get another Bone Country's... Oh, we got five. Okay. Well, it's every two. Big thing is, that's... Wait, does she have some sort of resistance? Ah, uh, because she'll get healed after taking that hit. That's right. Okay, cool. Eight damage and then a heal. Thank you. And that's all done. So somebody has taken significant damage. And that's too gross. Mm -hmm. It's a very survivability oriented team. So I guess the only things I really need to do are just smack it a couple more times. Smack Shabros a couple more times. That doesn't sound very good. And then it's Vanguard's coordinated tactics overloaded. Next two instances of Electro. 
and animo damage. And oh, right, because she's gonna. This is one, because. Yep, she's still got that healing on. Huh. And well, a final tail smack should do the trick. And. You know, maybe it's a good thing that the AI goes easy. Alright. Especially since this team does suck. Alright. It is kind of hilarious how many things they nerfed from last patch. They nerfed Yunjin, they nerfed Kabe, they nerfed the Consecrated Bees. Figure out your tactics. So to be fair, I don't even remember the Consecrated Bees were last patch or this patch. I mean, last patch or two patches ago. But for Navia and interesting Crystal Shrapnel, you can deal eight damage. Physical damage and draw one card. And play that and draw cards too. Discard and draw one card and hmm. One Crystal Shrapnel card before adding it, and more to place in the deck, and I get the impression that she is rather good if you have a deck suited for her. As long as you have a way to ensure that damage is being dealt. Elemental damage is being dealt for a crystallized reaction. That Scored up to, and then you draw lots and lots of cards. Hmm. Five crystal shrapnel, but getting five would be kind of difficult. Geo infusion, and how much? Two rounds. So, so essential using that for. Who's the draw to salute? Draw, draw one crystal shrapnel card. Hmm. Wonder what are play style would be and both those would be you probably actually want maybe the same element besides Navi and maybe two cryos so that in theory you could make her shard shot a one hit kill by playing cry resonance for two bonus damage and then with maximum shrapnel but that's that's a gimmick that's the definition of a gimmick okay Card game, huh? Makes me makes you wonder honestly if when Navia's voice lines were initially recorded, whether this line was already recorded. I would honestly think so. Because it would be inevitable that Navia would get added in the game, but so game plan is the same as usual with this one. Mm hmm. Yeah, it raises the question of what kind of team you would actually run with Navia. That was a very lucky initial hand. Hmm. Hmm. Well, start out with the Stinger. Thank you. Got one of those to put in. And then, how are we going to do this? Two Dunier's odds. And the lesbian card. And then it just deals three and infusion can discard again more cards and it just That's a really, really good skill. Okay, well I should have used that already at the start. Get that up faster, but whatever. I'll live. Mmm, healing. Ooh, okay, but that Well, they're back to full. That took some stuff out of them though, so. And more damage and draw a card and Well there we go, we got an energy block. Hmm. Okay. Probably put this down then. Okay. Uh, got another Vonorana, but that's the kind of thing I should probably toss. Used to tune. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, all right. Go ahead, switch to someone else so I can scroll again. And go ahead. Interesting. 
If I weren't smarter, I would have thought that would have been on purpose. Might have been. Actually... I wonder who's going to get switched to. And I'm going to bet they switch to someone else now, and I'll use Barbara's on. Or... Huh? Okay. Not all that good at blocking. Crystallizes is the thing. But, put down Tenshikaku. Well, that, okay. That did not even, well, also to draw another card, though. Hmm. Okay. Take that out and, oh, I'm, I may be stupid. Hmm, we got two of those, which is good. Let's go for another. And... We can actually maybe take out Navi next round. So the Crystal Shrapnel will not be doing that much for her if, well, she's dead. And I killed her in the car accident, looking like a president in the chopper. I mean, Air Force One. I. It's a very stupid song that I think you need to be shown. Well, maybe not stupid. We can use this and get some damage dealt on them. Thank you. Let me. Let me remember. It, it doesn't really have an official name, but looking that up will direct you to it, I would say. So what is Charlotte going to do here? I just don't want to get crystallized on. Hmm. Are you familiar? <laughs> it... you might be. I hope not. But... yeah, so we can get some of that swirl going. I... okay. I said you may be familiar, but I hope not. It would be kind of frightening. Actually draw some of those and... Yep, we got an energy block, which will double some of that damage. Let's let that go and... Yeah, well... She won't be able to... Really do it good and melt, which is the important thing. I said, you may be familiar, but probably not, and for your own sake, I hope you aren't. It would... You would have to be pretty online in a weird kind of way. Oh, we got four! Okay. And that's... that's just death. Sorry, dear. Yeah. If you get lucky with rolling those, you can deal some pretty ridiculous damage. Swing. You can... I And, yeah, surprised she didn't use as well. Of course, the AI goes easy, any kind of geo attack to get a crystal eyes off. Well, yeah, that's all. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's as much as I can really say. And that means this deck is done. For a whoop, well done, you win. On that card those cards, I think. Maybe. Farazan. Consecrated Flying Serpents. Consecrated Scorpion. There we go. Okay. Gotta make a new card, but just... I... We are kind of rolling in it. I cannot afford to roll it all until not long, really. Well, aside from Emily, of course, but... I know we got 200 and then... 
214 in Prima Gems alone. With a white fade, it's 224, and then all of these, it's 52. So 276, which again is enough to hit Hard Pity three times, which means. Which means. If I got really lucky, I could win every 50 50 and pick up Kinuch, Molina, and Emily. Got the rest of the patch, and so a couple of Abyss cycles next patch, a couple of one theater cycle next patch. It's interesting to think about. Also, new area, also anniversary patch. I. It's interesting to think about. I'm wondering how things will go and how much I might go under or over budget, because of course, beyond just getting new characters, there are also six old characters. Old, old five stars, Nilo, who is right there. Hard to pass up. Ito, Ayato, Ayaka, Kokomi, and of course Kui, which means Inazuma. Chronicle Banner, if and when it comes around, is going to be a, pretty much a must roll for me. Okay, Prince. Hello. Let's do a Tavern Card Challenge on the Frost Operative's Greeping. I'm for greeting. Greeping? Frost Operatives do not just handle their blades of grace, for they are unfailing in decorum, elegant, and gentle. Those great cats that meet on the road will sometimes even respond to a cat's call. Starts with the Talent Card. I'm full rapier equipped. Bond of life stacks to double. Hmm. Blood bonded shadow. Minus two, maximum five stacks. And, hmm. Hmm. Well, the issue is. Onslaught stands when piercing damage to all enemies with bond of life, which. <laughs> Alright. Oh, well, not that one anyway. I gotta get a new... A new card. New deck. Yeah, okay, well. You win this time. You win this time. Hope you're happy. Okay. Hmm. Just check. Who then should go in a new deck? Also got... In about... 16 minutes... It'll all be full, and I'll have another domain run to do. That'll probably be how I wrap things up then. Mm. Let me think. Let's put a new deck and see who's good and who's not. Main thing is, is that Bond of Life won't do much to Emperor of Fire and Iron, because it doesn't have healing, it is. It just gets more health. No, not more health, more shield points, so. Can't do all that much to it. Take that and... I hate this deck. Die. Okay. Sorry, Farza. So, honestly, I would say Emperor of Fire and Iron is probably going to be pretty good here. But... Hmm. Fontenaire Pearl. Resonant Coral Orb. That... Okay, it's not actually a shield though. Sis and Mage, and uh, the big thing is I actually don't need to be too complicated and silly with my decks because now that they make it so that every single match. Gives you more. Every single weekly match gives you proficiency. I can afford to, at least for this challenge. Well, it the big thing is just, what kind of synergy would there even be? Actually, actually, Kabe and the Abyss Herald would actually have decent synergy. Because it's interesting that we got the Pyroelectric before the Electroelector. Anyone else Hydro? Anyone else Dendro that I haven't fully maxed yet? Yeah. 
Let me see. And the answer to that question is a resounding no. But, hmm. But, hmm. Anybody else? Not you. I guess I could try Newell, actually. Maybe. Hmm. Let's go with Newell. Chalice's bounty. And this. The only thing needed is that, but. Well, the issue is, is there wouldn't be a lot of good Dendro or Hydro application. I... Hmm. It is rather silly. But... Maybe... Maybe I can make it work. It's also rather funny that we got the Cryo Season Mage before the Electro Season Mage. And Cryo Hypostasis before Animo or Geo, which predated it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eventually, eventually you'll be able to have a full Hypostasis team. Which is just inherently funny. But I... This... And this is going to be really stupid. Let's just do it anyway. I... It's gonna take a lot of switching. Location card? But we don't really use location cards. Mm, no, no, no. Main thing is... It's all about maxing out Costa cards, because they nerfed Kade a little, because before it was when you do his whole burst scan kind of thing, you draw a card, and then do Dentro damage equivalent to its uh, original cost plus one. That is the only four cost card in the game. Well, that doesn't require... Having gone you in your deck just, to, and that would be really funny. Having gone you in the deck just to occasionally get five, five damage from that. No way it's worth it. No way it's worth it. But you know, making a Kave deck is really easy. You just put all these on. Except actually, mm, well, Cassava. Hmm. I don't even think Cassava would be all that good there. Well. Well, hmm. much to think about. All about, honestly, one of the things they'll take other than maxing costs would be things that help me switch faster. Because I'm going to have to do a lot of switching with this team. Other than that, it's just max out costs. As much three as possible. It's an interesting concept. Question is just how I can reliably get things I want. Answer is not really. There and that would be good because I can actually just put it on things too. But other than that, I that could actually be good on Kave though, as he he would maybe be using some normals. It's also a good option. Cool, and enjoy Kave deck. Okay. Still good, not crazy, but decent. And Cryo Hypostasis is just splashable garbage. Okay. Let's go ahead and see how all this works here. I didn't mean to do that, but yep. Everything in open world, and just one character card, two action cards, and we're just about to get those. Card challenge, and let's see how well this works. Oh, wait, what? Uh, huh? I did not mean to do that. Never mind. Wait, why is that Sucrose? No, because that is the pure starter deck. So it didn't equip. Just had to quick equip or something. Yeah, good job again. You won another time. Because I was not paying attention. That starter, and I 
hard way to rename these. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. And... That one might actually be good. Sealed one less once per round. It's two energy and skills will do plus one damage. And that actually... I could take that. Hmm. Okay. Well, you got Bell on here, and... Hmm. One burst scan, up to three. Hmm. Well, that is a skill, once per round, up to two points, and... Yeah, this could be a good opportunity to use some of that. Let's... How about you give me... Gendro Dice instead? Okay. It was alright, I think. Put this on you. Thank you. And then use that to switch that out, and use that skill to get another shield point, and there we go. And the damage alone is actually rather capable. Mm. Mm. Well, alright. I will... Hmm... I'm not quite sure. Moving around would be good. The big thing is making sure that I can... <sighs> this is actually tough. I might have been good to stand Kave. I think I will stand Kave, actually. Yeah... The main thing is to make sure that no matter who I hit with, because... The big thing about the Hydro Herald is that... When you hit, it, oh, but that's fast action. I didn't actually want fast action that much. It'll deal two separate hydro hits, which, oh, that really sucked. All right. Huh, okay. Hmm. I, let's put this on you anyway. Well, all right, this I'll, I'll take this. This is my option. And now you've got that going, so hopefully it should not be a huge problem, especially since I'll be able to, in theory, after pausing here, trigger a couple of bloom hits. As it would reapply the Jandro after I... After use 100 to break... That Orin produces seed, it would hit the seed would pop due to Kave, the old damage reapply Dendro, and then I would be able to just make another. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got that going, prepare school for rippling blades. Hydro damage and Thank you, a beauteous strike. That Oh. Oh right. Forgot about that one. I, ooh, ooh, okay. And now, oh right, I forgot. That happens. Okay. There we go. Thank you. It's so peak. And that bond of life. And, oh, we got a cool little aura there. I like that. Mm, and there we go. Cool. We're just gonna pop that, and well, that's actual death. Okay. Well. Now all I gotta do is hit a couple of times. HP, Hydro Damage, and Hydro Damage plus one. Oh right, because we have the bell equipped. That may have been a rather scuffed way to do things. It's definitely a rather scuffed way to do things, but let's actually... Let's let Kave do this with his burst. Me when I do damage to the enemy by resting my suitcase on my shoulder. It If it works, it works. Okay. Well, alright, that's... That's that. Hmm. I... Hmm. Much to think about. In... I could just do a few quick runs. And then we've... We have the heated battle mode for Sunday, which is going to be 
hangout events and This is going to be hangout events as well as a little camera event going on right now, which the camera event should take no time at all, but we'll see. So in that case, well, Sigmund does not have a burst on I'm going to do what I like doing, which is run this domain in the vain hope of getting decent pieces for Tartaglia and Ayato. Because it's most of my characters do have pieces. That's the thing. The only thing that really comes to mind is, well, you need no blasts. Probably in about a week and a half, because I'm gonna wait until there's that until that Finchball event starts. Well, until that Finchball event is ready. So you need Blizzard. You need a bit more Thundering Fury. I've been okay. So you need no blasts. You need Pale Flame, you need... God knows what you need. Goofy. And right, you need a... Well, there's an okay Crimson Witch set, I suppose, but... In that case, I might try to go for Crimson Witch instead of... Just because... I think I do have good pieces to... Share between Sara and Beto now. It'll be a while until I get gum and constellations, but we'll see what happens. Main thing is that with higher constellation levels, eventually he wants Crimson Witch instead of March I'll say Hunter, because it becomes really, really easy for him to overcap on crit. And just like that, thank you, and cool. Thank you, and over on this side, and... Oh, well, oh, interesting. All right. Two, and, well, all right. Interesting. I was not expecting to see that coming. Thank you, and this is a really weird team to use to farm this domain, because as you can tell, well, Nuviet is a Hydro character, the source of main damage on this team, and, well, suffice it to say that that Hilotro resists Hydro damage pretty heavily, but... I'm trying to get Sigmund's friendship up, and you can only really use her with Fiorina, and... Well, I guess I could, in theory, use with Fazli on this place, but... That... That... You know, I could. I could do that. I want to see how much better that might work. Trying with Fazli, Fiorina, so when or something. Here's Tea Party. That... Well, it's Hydro Damage Bonus. That's a good piece. Yeah. Let's just see how well. If you're in a sig, it works, but the question is, do I have an addition? Huh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Fiorina with Esling. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I, I never play multi. Oh, but no, the other thing is that I need to fit Kirara in two. And that'll be fair. I guess you could put Rathesley in with there, but I... <sighs> Let's just try it one Zai time. Yeah, Sigwin and Kirara. Also, if I wait until the Finchball event has everything available to roll for Emily, I can also wait until... Hopefully Sigwin's friendship will be at 10 by then, and I won't have to do... Run scuff teams in the same way. We'll see. Oh, all right. Cool. Thank you, and... Oh, my goodness. Thanks, all right, and... Cool, cool, and... Just like that, and... Can it punch, and... Oh, I, oh, that was rather good. I... Huh. Thanks. Heal, and... Yep, and the healing bonus on that was rather capable. Thank you, and just... Hit, and... Well, I... Mm, it... I don't think this is that much better, which is sad. Well, all right. Thank you, and yeah, it... He's not doing that much more damage than Yuvi yet, even though Yuvi yet literally had pretty heavy resistance there. That is... Yeah, 
Yeah, just being single target in AoE situations is not exactly the best of circumstances to be in. So, we can run this a couple more times and, eh, not good. Decent. But it... The main thing is, honestly, I would want Tartaglia to have more... More energy recharge. If I gave him a new set. Because when I really... The only time I ever really run him these days, which is the only place you ever really run him, is with Zhongling, Bennett, Kaza for the classic international team, which is good. It's still good, but... He does tend to run into energy issues sometimes, even in decently high AoE situations. So it... I would, in theory, like something a little better for him. And can we... Thank you. Just like that. And how do I... Mm. Thank you. Gonna we'll make sure name hits on the big one. And, well, that didn't even damage. Alright, and can I... Just gotta stay out of the way of that. And can I... Thank you, and... Wow, you... Interesting. That... Side guys stank much, much farther away than I would have expected, but I guess that's just life sometimes. Cool, and oh well, alright. Fun, I guess. And thank you. We actually managed to hit that. So it will be something that's a tiny bit more resin and one final run of this silly little domain. And that should be it for today. That, well. The main thing is, is that the only reason I would ever really use that set would be for... It's two-piece, two-piece, Vorakasha and Tenacity on Nilu. Almost all the time, because it just maxes out her HP. And, and that's the set I have in Sigwin right now, but Sigwin, in theory, is better with the Ocean Heat Clan. Something about new advice from Ramara Time Flower. Do something at the start of each day to protect your skin. I think. But I like that little pin pong sound she makes. It's very cute. So let's. I guess we may as well take these guys lilies and yep, it's one final miserable domain run. It's gonna be pfft, I'm gonna have to do a lot of domain runs at the start of not long because every character is going to want the new artifact set. It's gonna be just like Fontaine basically getting more shall say. But what is interesting is that there are a lot of Oh, besides Teapot Dialogue Hangouts, and hopefully I should catch up with Hangouts eventually. Even the slow pace I do them, I do do them faster than they come out, but just to ensure that I have a reservoir to hit screen targets, I'm not sure I want to do every single thing in 5.0 when 5.0 comes out. I mean, events, obviously, and the main quest and probably world quest for sure, but... Exploration is another slightly more open question. And, well, alright. Thanks, and. Head over there, I am. Mm, four, five, six, seven, eight, and. Okay. Nice, and. Alright, just like this, we. Hmm. And. I'm sure that we can get all of those. And can I. Thanks. Keep up the damage. Put. Let's back down. Or that to boost Furina's damage and right there. Got some of those water balls. And what is nice, and it as you can probably notice, Nuviet can actually use Sigwin's water orbs. Which is gives them some interesting synergy, but since if Sigwin produced three. And I'm sure that they deliver and made it so she only produced two, so she couldn't give Nuvi an instant charge. But if if she produced three, that would actually be incredible synergy. 
and arguably give competition for her. Well, in particular, you would be able to build Nuviet with less energy recharge. And he usually has a decent time with one other Hydro, Furina there. Which is why I only really ever run him with Furina these days, because it prevents energy issues. And with Authority, it would be even more of a moot point, but it's just... It would allow for some different rotations. But they held back, which was almost certainly prudent. Almost certainly the smart choice to make. But yeah, this is going to be my Emily set. This unfinished reverie four piece that keeps rolling into God knows what. Okay. If I really wanted to, I suppose I could use these, but I should probably have enough by the time I take on. By the time I get Emily, they should be. Oh, 20 just by leveling them normally. So it. Right, and how did. Oh, more spending. Okay. Either way, that will be all for today. It's time to go back to Fontaine. Enjoy your cake, Fiorina. Log out, and see you next time. It. We had some fun conversations. I got a decent amount of stuff done. So I will be seeing you next time. Sound of Reagan.